Kim for making that banging ass song. Shout out to Ashley Purple Music for sponsoring this war early in the game. Shout out to Chase Key, salute, salute for sponsoring this war early in the game. Huh? Mr. CBH365, God bless you, bro. Glad you still here amongst us. Oh, yeah, we definitely up in the building. Glad you here to support. Oh yeah. Right. Give me a second, y'all. 
so we can send out our own notifications over here because we all know the game is rigged. Point blank, period. The game is rigged. My name is the most viral, the hottest name in the game, but yet they playing with my numbers. But I'm cool with that because when you know you the best of the best, it's like, damn, if I go take a shit in the toilet, niggas got my name in their title. That's when you know you nice. That's when you know you nice. If I dig in my nose and pick a booger out, you're going to have 100,000 platforms with my name in their title. I'm kind of I'm kind of liking that. And when people sit up there talking about a narcissist, ooh. Hassan Campbell, you're a narcissist? Should I be anything less? Like, seriously, though. Should I be anything less? The door. We gonna, we, oh, we gonna get into this door. Because some of y'all so child, yo, some of y'all so so childish that you watch, you go over there and watch the, the dirty jealous section of YouTube that's doing bad. I mean, they numbers over there suck. They're doing bad. I just logged on. We already got 1,400 people in the building. Their numbers is doing bad. So they convinced you when I went on Vlad's platform and joined forces with a white devil to go to war with black devils because the black devils shot me and left a knife in my back. When I went outside grieving and got shot, y'all was on the internet laughing at me and smearing, making a smear campaign trying to de destroy my platform. So then when the white guy came and befriended me, lifted me up, dusted me off, you're going to talk about I went through a door for doing an interview? Vlad don't have power to be the door. Vlad does blogs just like I do blogs. Let's stop playing games. Vlad does not have the power to increase my money, to increase my lifestyle. He doesn't have that power. The problem is, is that when these dudes counted me out, you know how you know how you got new edition? You gotta count me out. Have to count me out. No, you niggas counted me out. And here I still stand, still shining. What that nigga Gully TV said, oh, we ain't no coming back, nigga. If I fell off five times, I'll still be better than you. I don't understand what part you niggas don't understand. I bring this energy to the internet that make people want to come to the internet. Because most of the people in the world is broken and they're hurt. And they're looking for a way out. The broken shall evolve. The rest of you niggas is fronting. Matter of fact, no, y'all strong. Y'all stronger than everybody else. Y'all tough. Y'all built the last. And they got shit to offer your people. Shit. So I sold out. Because the white devil joined forces with me to protect me against the black devils. Huh? What? Take the what and leave the what? What happened? The white devil joined forces with me and said, yo, I got your back. Come on over here. Let's let bygones be bygones. Which I don't know the art of war. Or which I didn't think I was smart enough to play it. Huh? Or which I'm mad because the reality of it is I didn't need Vlad. I didn't need Vlad. I'm already the best of the best in the game. I don't have to have a million subscribers. I'm cool with almost being at the mark with 500,000. I never expected to make it this far anyway. Remember, YouTube was an accident. Me getting up here telling my story. I never even had intentions on going this far on YouTube. This shit was easy to me. But you niggas, this is your life. And some of you dudes... Y'all signed up to be me. You niggas was sitting home waiting on you. You know, that total song. Y'all was sitting at home with no life, nothing else to do, on parole, can't go outside, ankle bracelets, and then watching her song Campbell all over the internet. I want to be like Mike. I want to be like Mike. Y'all wanted to be like Mike. Niggas wanted to be just like me.
Now the internet is flooded with podcasters. Rappers don't even want to rap no more. They want to talk now. Niggas ain't been talking. Nigga, I created this wave. And all these niggas that act like they didn't know about me, now they know about me. But give me a second. Because I'm going to talk my shit tonight. And shout out to the 2,000 people in the building. If you still rocking with me, hit that like button, man. Piss these haters off. Piss them off. Because, oh, yeah, y'all here. The crazy part about it is all you niggas that don't like me, y'all front row and center right now watching me just to see who else watching me. Huh? What 50 Cent said? I've been watching you. Watching me. Now, you tell me what you like more. My watch of me. I'm the one. Huh. You get shot on the block and run to the cops. You're not like me. You're not like me. I know y'all hate it. Like, damn, this nigga could break down in the middle of the street, get shot, go on Vlad TV. Niggas are talk about he went through the door and he's still a, he's still a illness nigga in Nebraska. Yes, I am. I know y'all stomach hurting. I know your stomach hurting. Y'all want to be like me so bad it ain't even funny. Niggas on the internet talking shit about me. One nigga living with, living with his dead grandmothers in that nasty ass house with them nasty ass couches. And the other one living with his mother with jerseys on the wall. Nigga don't compare me with no niggas that's living with their mother. Talking about they got online businesses making $7 a goddamn month off YouTube. Don't compare me with them. Oh, I'm going to have a Phil's Day this live right here. This, this, this one right here? I'm going to talk my shit. Tell somebody else we live. Share this shit. Niggas is mad because they can't get on Vlad. Now, hell, niggas start throwing a titty attack. And hey, y'all dumbasses sitting up there. Yeah, I think Haas might have went through the door. Why? Because you got broke niggas on the internet mad because Vlad will never, ever, 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 ever look at their channel? Because academics don't look at their channel unless I say their name? You niggas is dying to be in my position. Just say that. Yo, Haas, can we get some help? I mean, we over here working these channels and their channels ain't going nowhere. Right. Give me a second, y'all. Okay, let's see where we at. Swab Star TV. My life is so real that they say it's fake. The hate be so real, uh, but the love is so fake. The game is rigged, most definitely. Thank you for sponsoring this world early in the game. Seven, keep being that thorn in the outside. Your God sent, I believe, that God loves you, and so do I. I got time for the haters tonight. Respectfully, Haas, for the like four years straight, you've been calling Vlad out saying he's foul. So what? So what? If I called him out on something that he did wrong, what does that mean? 
What does that mean? I got niggas that's out in the streets. If they call me to hide a body, we gonna hide that body together. What are y'all talking about? That's the problem with you niggas. You put me in a box. Don't put me in a box. Just because a nigga do foul shit and I call him out don't mean we can't be cool when I got beef on the battlefield and I got bullets in me and I got niggas trying to destroy my platform and then the white man come to my rescue, you gonna tell me not to take his help? When my own people go out of their way, when I'm freshly bleeding out of the hospital, niggas is on the internet laughing at me and then the other ones that watch the video and seen everything that I was going through say, nah, there's no way in hell this nigga could be that real where he called niggas outside for the drama, call them for the beef, tell them to bring the guns outside. They bring the guns outside, a nigga gets shot, drive to the hospital, come home, get on the internet and tell them niggas they still soft. And then you get these dusty ass niggas, hold up, man. I'm like, I'm, 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 I got time to address niggas tonight. I'm going to have fun with this. I'm going to have fun with this because the reality of it is, See, it's simple. I could do, on, on one end, I could be listening to Lily sitting up there talking about, yo, don't respond to none of them niggas. Like, nah, just one time. I'm going to give these niggas a response one time. Shit I got to deal with. Shit I got to deal with. I don't got no issue with, with Vlad, dude, bro. Right. And niggas are journalists. That's right. what journalists do. That's why all these other niggas be trying to say they journalists. I so believe they do what he do. I, I believe it would I, I believe it would greatly benefit somebody in your position to go on a platform like that. He got probably like six million. Yeah, you feel like that ain't shit that? like that. But um like you said, you never had no problem with him. You don't view him that way. Uh, recently, Hassan Campbell went and accepted his chair at Vlad TV after almost probably eight years of ridicule, accusations. So, Gully TV, for two years, remember, you almost got my channel taken when we was beefing because you see me coming up fast. And you started dissing me. Remember that? Then you reached out to me and you apologized to me. And I went on your platform and brought you on my platform and tried to help your suck, your suck, your platform. Tried to help you. Your platform dying. Remember what you said to my son? Give it, giving him his career that is he dead kick? Well, that's that kick that, you know, that works for you too. Because now. You, your, your career has been shot down. Your channel has been shot down. So now we got to look at your channel and see is you, is you dead? I mean, you still breathing, but it's like you buried alive. So you calling me out now for going on Vlad's platform, but I went on your platform and me and you was beefing. But it was all good because when I went on your platform, you used to be the big dude. Remember that? When you was watching my YouTube and you was talking trash about me and you was telling everybody, look, I got a thousand people. Hassan Campbell will never have a thousand people in the building. I just started this live, Gully, and I got 2,800 people in the building. What you going to do when these hawker maniacs run, run wild on your punk ass, huh? Hit them in the head. What? So you mad because I went on Vlad and you've been in the game since G Z Jesus was a little boy. G says, walk. You was in a game since Jesus was a little boy. And Vlad ain't look at you not one time. You just did a you just did an interview with, 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 with dogs from Bad Boy. And it flopped. So you got my name in your title. And you got these two dusty ass niggas trying to tag team a nigga. When I didn't help both of these niggas, but let me let you talk. Talk about uh, talk about how the white man need to stay out of black people business. <laughs> how the black man, how the white man need to stay out of black people business. And the first thing you do is you run to the white man to tell your story. And then I, no, I didn't run to the white man. The white man 
seeing that I ran out of bullets and I ran out of guns. So he brought me a gun and an extra clip with some extra bullets in it so I could bust back. Yeah, the white man, he seen me in trouble. He pulled up, skirt. He threw me a box of bullets. He threw me a gun. He threw me a great, uh, this is entertainment, FBI. And now I'm back on the battlefield getting busy. But you dudes been trying to finish me ever since I got shot. And for some reason, Hassan Campbell bleeding out, got patched up and bounced back on the battlefield. And you niggas is mad. I mean, listen to this shit, black people. So you think that when I'm on a battlefield and now this is survival, this shit ain't even about a message no more. Nigga, this is about survival. Y'all niggas, the, oh, damn it, the, the, the community damn near almost killed me after I was broken. And now you niggas trying to take food out of my mouth? And then y'all trying to use master manipulation to manipulate my following because y'all following sucked. So the whole internet, all you niggas is watching my following. My people, this foundation that I built for my motherfucking self, and y'all niggas is jealous. Ferris, there's a jealous girl in my town. You niggas is jealous. Bitches. Like, damn, you niggas is running around with your t-shirt and your pen. Like, I, what, I gotta get you a thong? Y'all act like y'all can't see this? Like, this ain't nasty work. Listen to these niggas. I, I like that's why I like that. Because when he started trying to talk that African bear body talk, you see something's curving out, right? Yeah. yeah well, back then you getting shot. You said it was shit. Yeah. I was loving that you curving. I don't want to talk. You've been around for all of these years talking about bear body. You ain't never make it up here. We ain't right. gonna come up here and start talking about bear body now. I was right. <laughs> Yeah, I was that. that. You hear the dumbass? I respected that. He curved you. The whole uh, the whole interview was about Africa Bambata. The whole interview. So the lies you tell. Now you looking stupid. And just for the record, for the record, Vlad tried to get me on his platform twice because Ron Savage reached out to him. And he told Ron Savage the only way he's taking Ron Savage on his platform is if Hassan Campbell comes. And I turned it down twice in the past. Twice in the past, I turned it down. Like, nah, I don't need you. So now, when shit hit the fan, and all my brothers on the plantation turned they back on me, when the whole time I've been a field nigga, and these house niggas been stabbing me, and some of y'all been, some of y'all people in the audience, y'all been supporting these niggas that's been stabbing me since day one. Niggas that I fed. Sometimes you got to dissect people bullshit so you can get to the truth. I said that, I said that last night. You had that to, nigga. Had to get you shot. That, you ain't coming up here to tell your story. You going to tell a story that I want to hear. Right. But you ain't going to tell no story. Let's right. I like that's what I'm saying. I, I ain't got no problem with that, yeah? It's always technically been that way. You going to answer them questions that he asked up there. Right. So... Yeah, uh, it was shock. It was shocking to me. It was shocking to me, and, and out of the blue, he looks like these niggas is trying to convince y'all. Not even an hour after Vlad put my interview up, which did better numbers. Oh, we gonna get into that. My first interview, the first clip up, did better than all the A-list celebrities that Vlad put up there. Let's get to that. Oh, but we got two niggas sitting up here. One nigga with a dirty couch in the background and the other nigga with Jersey sweatshirts on his goddamn wall. With Jersey sweatshirts on the wall in his house. One nigga sitting up there at grandmama's house with an ankle bracelet that was begging. Begging her son Campbell. Yo, I look up to you. That was it, you zip? I look up to you. And yo, I like the interview. I, I, like, I like the story you did on Cuzzo that got murdered in Queens. You know, your cousin's old man, that was my man. Your son got busy. My cousin's baby father that got murdered, he got busy. But you all over the internet talking about niggas is a ticket. Nigga, I'm still alive. 
I can easily retaliate any any chance I want to. As a matter of fact, niggas in Bronx River don't even be standing out there no more. It's a ghost town. But we ain't going to get into that. We're going to stick to you. Like, how dare you niggas? You niggas are poverty pimps looking bad. Looking bad. Look at the numbers, gully. There's 31 people, 3,100 people in the building right now. If I fell off five times, I'll still be better than you and Zip together. Let's get to that. Oh, I'm going to have a Phil's day with this tonight. He's very, very happy to be, you know, be on the platform for sure. Looks very submissive. He looked, he looked happy to be a receipt, period. Because he's a receipt. You know what I'm saying? Now he's a receipt. Now they always know you show me the receipt. Well, it's all true. Right. receipt. These niggas yeah, be talking yeah, like they the gangsters. And all they got to show for it is a bunch of injuries, you heard? Nigga, you the receipt. You are what gangster niggas do. To, you the re recipient of that. You're not the gangster. <laughs> you the receipt. This is what gangsters do to people. Look at it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. Yeah, he's happy to be the receipt though. Like that's the, right. You know I said the same thing last night. That he never he uh, the whole time you've been online talking about that you, you was molested by Africa Bambada. The whole time you was ranting. Even the um foundation of his rant in Bronx River that day. All of that. That was the foundation of the that's that's what started it. That's what triggered it all. Triggered it all. Him questioning Cassie being compensated because he wasn't compensated for his. Injuries. Stop right there. I wasn't looking to be compensated. I was looking for people to support me in the message. What part you niggas don't forget? Or y'all don't realize? I was looking for support from the community. I could have went to court. I chose not to. You niggas was mad at me for not going to court talking shit when I didn't go to court. And I let the expiration date run out. There's a difference. Stop being master manipulators. I didn't want to go to court. I wanted the people in the community to support me without the media telling you to do it. Why does the white media have to tell black people when to stand behind somebody? Why? Y'all don't listen to the slave master tell you to listen. Then y'all all is. He did all of that and went up there and still wasn't allowed to tell that part of the story. And that was associated that was associated with it. That was associated with it. It was rooted in that. It was rooted in the molestation. Wow. Shout out to Vlad for that, you know? Yeah, yeah. See, this is the problem with these dudes. Y'all listening to them talk about Vlad didn't let me talk about this, but Vlad did stop did, Vlad did let me talk about this. And they're lying. They're totally lying and misleading at the same time. If they were smart, they would have just took the video down because you're looking stupid. You're looking real stupid. Like Vlad, no, Vlad didn't curb me. Vlad did the realest shit. Than any of these platforms on social media. He did the realest shit. He said, I'm going to get behind this nigga and I'm going to hold this nigga down. Yeah, he be pulling niggas' skirts up. He be pulling niggas' skirts up for real. Yeah, I, I, I appreciate that. Like niggas don't want to hear about that, man. Niggas don't want to hear about that nasty shit that was going on. Cause you, 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 you so, you so offended you, 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 by these old folks that let that happen to you and all of that when you was younger, whatever. Right. Why you got pictures next to that nigga as a grown man? As an adult. As, as an, an adult, adult. You're standing next to this nigga as a grown man, so you can't know. So let me ask you a question, Zip. Being that I got pictures with Africa Bambada as a grown man, you knew this when you reached out to me, when you came in my DM, when you came on my platform, when you befriended me for like a whole year straight because you wanted to get next to the nicest nigga, the illest nigga in Nebraska, you went out of your way to be my mans until I put you in position. Now you showing your true colors. So you knew all of this in the beginning. Why are you throwing this out there now? Hello? 
Why y'all niggas don't ask him that question? He knew everything about me. This nigga knows. This nigga knows. Like he know how many. Like he knows how many hairs I got on my head. He know how much dead skin I got on my feet. He's supposed to be a a one street nigga. That's how he sell himself, right? But yet every time you turn around, this nigga's is on. He on Hassan Campbell balls. Every time you turn around, he's in Hassan Campbell's business. The nigga called me one day. I'm outside on the highway. Yeah, I know you watching me. I'm like, who's this? Don't act like you ain't watching me. Who is this? This is it with the drip. Nigga, I'm outside in the streets. You calling me on the phone while you live on your channel trying to get a response out of me because you know your career is on its way out already as well. Nigga, y'all career suck. Nigga suck. And the best thing that I ever could have did for you was to respond to you so I could give your channel life. Hold the grown men and women accountable for what happened to you when as a grown man, you didn't do nothing either. Right. So technically... They, they under the same spell as you, nigga. So you got him talking about I didn't do nothing, right? Isn't that why I got I came to the internet to do something? To bring awareness to what Africa Bambada did and what other people was going to ever since I've been on the internet. I've been bringing awareness. But these dudes is telling you that I'm not doing nothing because that's master manipulation. That's master manipulation. I got shot going back to Bronx River, screaming, hollering, and protesting to bring awareness to a, a to a predator. But they telling y'all on the internet that I'm not doing nothing. But meanwhile, they signed up to watch me on this internet forever, ever, forever, ever to watch me do nothing. So if I sat here and just scratched my ass, they gonna watch. Then they gonna run back to their channel and they gonna tell y'all not to watch. Do y'all see this nasty work? Everybody come in and hit the like button so we can get these notifications out. Because y'all already know they playing with my channel. Out that still. I mean, you, you can't be. If you never saw the nigga no more after that... Yeah, I right, cool. Yeah, he took the photo. And and November twenty fourth was the last day to file a suit. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's liable anymore for that. Uh, I guess the statute of limitations ran out for things that happened in the seventh. So if the statute of limitation ran out, why y'all telling people that I'm trying to get paid like Cassie's getting paid? If the statute of limitation ran out and I let it run out. Why are y'all telling people that I'm trying to get a payday like Cassie trying to get a payday? What's the lies about? I'll wait. Am I making any sense or are they sounding stupid? Which one is it? If I was trying to get a payday, y'all just said that the statute of limitation just ran out. So which one is it? Which way did he go? Which way did he go? Exactly, man. Stop letting these stupid niggas lead y'all astray. And all the mods in the building that got wrenches, the disrespectful comments in this comment section, get them up, get them up out of here. Eighties, nineties, so that's why all these. So that's why all these women just daddies hit all these dudes with these suits. Like the, last week, last week was the last day. The last week, or something like that. November twenty fourth. Yeah, I forget the name of the. It was called the Adult Talk Law. But uh, when he didn't file no lawsuit, that that told the story on that. So it wasn't no reason for them, him to have his meltdown in Bronx River when you didn't he even was file jealous. A lawsuit. He was jealous. He was a jealous man. He was jealous of Cassie. He did the same thing he 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 went he did the same thing she did. You know what I'm saying? He did the same right. thing she did. He, he the first, he 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 the male superhead. <laughs> now, he, now he got famous. 
He got faith the same way Corinne Stephens got faith. Wow. Wow. <laughs> and that same fame that I got from bringing awareness to a predator that you think is funny, you saw my story. And what I went through, if I didn't go through what I went through, you wouldn't be on YouTube right now. You would be a nobody. You used my story to get lit. You used my story to get where you at right now. This is why people watching you to the day, because you used my story to get cool with me. Nigga, I ain't come look for you. You came looking for me. You came looking for me to get you hot. I birthed you. I gave birth to you. Then I birthed you. You keep on playing with me, I will earth you. I know Mr. Tough Guy, Mr. Let's Get to That, Mr. I Bust My Gun, Mr. You was in jail. You was in jail. And Blueface went to your cell with a knife, dropped the knife on your cell, and told you to come outside with the shooters. You stayed in behind that cell, went to the toilet, shit at your balloon out, filled with weed, and gave it to him so he wouldn't stab you up and gave the knife back. I went to Bronx River, set up my camera, called the whole neighborhood out to go to war with me by myself with no weapon, stood there, got shot, took my ass to the hospital. Now it's my turn. Oh, it's my turn now. But you, you had a one-on-one. -on -one. Nigga gave you a knife. Now you coming to the internet front and like you, you know what I'm saying, Mister, let's get to that. Nigga, you stink. Let's get to that stinks. It doesn't even sound good anymore. Your living room stink. Your cough is like, we trying to figure out if it's HIV or pneumonia. You got the <coughs> sick cough. You're sick. Your face is annoying. Your outfits look disgusting. You look like poverty and pain. You look like I gave life and put life into you, my nigga. And you talking? Look at you, little zippy. Talking about I'm a receipt? Nigga, some of the illest killers in the world has been murdered. Shout out to Moolock from Coney Island. Shout out to Killer Ben from Brooklyn. Shout out to 50 Cent. Shout out to my big homie, B.O. Now all of a sudden, because a nigga get murdered, he's soft? In a battlefield when niggas get shot? They patch up and go back out on the battlefield. Nigga, your whole reputation is based off of your brother. And he ain't do shit when Blueface, uh, when, 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 when um, Blue Boy backs you down. Like dogs. Are you kidding me? We ain't even, I'm not even getting into whether you was playing with the chumps or not. Whether you was playing with the chumps. I'm not even getting to that. The fact that why you stopped being blood. Why you stopped being blood and ran to Islam. We ain't getting into that. You got your ass whooped the whole time you was in jail. Different niggas smacking you up. Now you come home to a gun and you think you tough. You want to prove to me you tough, nigga? Pay a bill. I don't care about your gun. That shit don't matter when you 40 years old and you can't pay a bill. You 40 years old and you can't pay a bill. Niggas have to pass the apartment down to you. Stop playing with me, man. Both of you niggas is like little boys to me. Worried about what I'm doing with my money. I'm getting money. I know you niggas ain't getting money. Your numbers show that. Your views show that. Y'all niggas can't even get past 12,000 views. What do you want the internet for? Ain't nobody watching. Wow. It's no different. Technically speaking, yeah. It's right no different. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. That yeah. nigga, that nigga's the male version. He's he, 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 the male superhead nigga. Now he said he on here. Now he didn't got shot. And he acting like he, he tough because he got shot. No, nigga, that don't make you tough. That means tough niggas got next to you. That make you shot. Yeah, you <laughs> shot. And you happy about it. 
man in the hospital talking about I'm still alive. You're almost 50 years old. You're right. doing the same type of TikTok routines as the 16 and 17 year old niggas out here. This nigga's lost, bro. This nigga's lost. Nah, I'm not lost. I sat up on camera, showed the world that I was still strong, I'm still alive, and went straight to the bank with it. Now, that's some gangster shit. When you can sit up in front of a camera and get paid for getting shot, and then the niggas that's sitting up there playing Cisco and Ebert, all on my nutsack, y'all commentating on my life. See, the thing about it is, y'all forcing me to look at you. But people are like, look at these niggas talking about you. I don't want to look at you niggas. Your life is not good enough for me to tune into your channel. Your channel sucks. It's time to hit the retirement home. Y'all niggas, yo, y'all talk about what I'm going to do without, without YouTube? I own property. What you niggas own? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Zip, every time you go outside, and you walk through the neighborhood, those young girls is looking at you like Pete the pervert. Every time you go outside, those young girls, because they heard you say, I ain't messing with none of these young cats, because you know, uh, or rather, don't call me OG. Don't call me big homie, because I'm going to be messing with the same girls you messing with. And ever since I said that, it got you sick, because now when you outside, standing outside looking skinny sick, coughing, smoking weed, them young girls is looking at you like you stink. And now that they listening to Hassan Campbell put that stigma on you, I ain't saying you got HIV, but that cough reminds me of that. I ain't saying you got pneumonia, but that cough reminds me of that. You giving off sick vibes. And every time you lean to the side, the hide you puffing that blunt, you giving off fiend vibes. And every time we look at that couch, you giving off dusty vibes. I mean, dirty. You got the aura and the energy of a bum. The nigga in the hood that wasn't supposed to amount to be shit. That got saved by Hassan Campbell. Look at you now. It's still looking dusty. Are you not entertained? I mean dirty dusty. I guarantee you if you look at his fingernails, they dirty. Wow. Pathetic. So I think uh, his YouTube situation, that probably, that's probably going to be over with. Where can he, where do we go from here? I don't think so. Huh? He can't, so. he can't, he can't, he can't come back. He can't come back and critique anybody. He can't come back and ridicule anybody. Uh, none of that. Because he don't mean the shit that he say. He can be bought. Niggas like that is dangerous. You know what I'm saying? Uh, niggas will say anything dangerous. for a dollar, son. Dangerous. Biggie they said. They put it on Vlad and 1090 Jake. He, the, them two niggas specifically, son. Vlad and 1090 Jake. For being white people. <laughs> dealing with black. So y'all hear how Gully trying to convince Zip it's over for this nigga. These niggas is planning my funeral on the internet and y'all mad at me because Vlad seen all this foul shit and reached out to me like, nah, this shit ain't the, the illest nigga in Nebraska. Nah, we ain't letting him go out like that. Y'all mad at me. Because I got a white hero. A black, a, 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 a white devil protected me, became my hero, and saved me from some black devils. And y'all talking about some fucking door? And this is one of the main reasons why black people today is waiting for Jesus to come back. Because we ain't going to save each other. 
Y'all do exactly what the machine tells you to do. Niggas is caught up in the matrix. And at this point in time, when I sit back and I analyze, I don't, I don't know if I want to be the savior of our people anymore. It's going to cost me too much. You can't love a people that don't love you back. Look at the shit that I had to go through. Let me show y'all some shit. Because I know y'all don't watch these niggas. I know y'all don't watch them. Let me show y'all some shit on this internet. I'm going to give them about a couple of more seconds before we, we, can, we cancel these dudes. Now I gave y'all y'all 15 minutes of fame so y'all can rebuttal because nobody's watching you niggas channel. I, I'm, I'm giving you life. The best thing that ever happened to you, Zip, was me. Then after that was you beefing with Bimmy. And then after that, there's no more life to you. You had to get next to Little Preem to get a buzz on the internet. Talking about his daddy and Big Meech. And after that, we don't care about the numbers you're doing on Instagram. You don't get paid for it. Instagram is not paying you. Your clothes show that. Your grandmother's couch show that. Like, damn, nigga. We living in 2023 where they get ready to put out flying cars and you still got that nasty ass couch. Smelling like weed and cigarette smoke. I could only imagine what niggas clothes smell like after they lay on your nasty ass couch. With that nasty ass cat clown and all, climbing all around. Like, listen, man. All you smaller YouTubers that's beefing with Zip. If you want to get, if you want to destroy Zip, you got to kill the cat and burn the couch. In the final draw, see, Zip is like the boogeyman. You can't beat the boogeyman unless you kill a cat, burn the couch, and give him cough medicine. You got to get that nigga some cough medicine. Night quill to make him night night. <laughs> You gotta kill a cat. YouTube, this is just entertainment. But you gotta kill a cat. I'm serious. That cat is deadly. That cat is deadly. That cough is deadly. <coughs> hey, yo, shorty. Hey, yo, short nigga, you ain't DMX. You ain't DMX. Stop playing with me, man. 3,800 people in the building. Hit that like button so we can get these notifications out. Matter of fact, hit that like button so we can see how many people is really in the building. Hit the like button. Come on, man. If y'all want my channel to stay on top and y'all know this algorithm is watching, hit that like button. Jamie, what up? Ryan Apples, what up? Thank you for sponsoring this war. White man show and talk about something that that shit ain't got nothing to do with hip hop. None of that. It's right. you get shot in these streets. Why would you go on a white man show and do that? Why you ain't call up your man academics and go on there and do? You know what I'm saying? You know why he did that. For, hold for up, a couple hold of up, hold up. Let me ask you a question, Zip. Why are you even watching me? Why do you know all of my moves? You supposed to be a real nigga. Real niggas don't clout chase, right? Because I'm a Bronx River nigga, right? No, no matter how many niggas from Bronx River I'm beefing with, I'm a Bronx River nigga to heart. Why are you watching a nigga from the Bronx and stealing his swag? Why you keep, like, when I play my music in the intro, in the beginning of my live, nigga, you get that shit from me. When you sitting up there doing your videos, you start singing certain songs and moving just like me. You won't be like daddy. But I ain't your daddy. That nigga in jail. Your grandmama, your uncle, your whole family wasn't shit, my nigga. And if Hassan Campbell didn't come and give you a hug when you was listen, looking desperate and dirty and dusty, you wouldn't be shit. So what you doing is you acting like one of them bet one of them bitches that I got like that I got rid of. Yo, I swear to God. I got females that got kids by me. Females that was in relationships with me that don't try to fight me the way you niggas is trying to fight me. How do you explain that? Let's get to that, Zip. The fact that you can't go away. It's like you a condom stuck. You stuck on the knob. 
and you won't even slide off. Throw you in the toilet. Take the condom off, throw it in the toilet. Try to flush it. You won't even go down the tube. And gully, it's just sad, man. You the saddest of the saddest. Because you let your career, your channel fall so bad, you got to stand next to Zip, a nigga that's surpassing you, and his channel ain't shit. What do that tell you when you got a hundred and something thousand subscribers and Zip is getting more views than you? Ew! Y'all gonna tell me these niggas is not coming off jealous? And then you wonder why I sit down with a nigga like Vlad. Look at how these bitches, look at how they acting. Yeah. Hello, mom. Yeah. We can't respect your, uh, we can't respect your opinion anymore, yeah, huh? Thanks, son. I'm a wildlife nigga. You already know what I've made on. I'm saying when I get back inside, I'm some wild. Yeah, I, I, I wanted to get mine out the way in the morning. You, you, you crime time at him. I already you know. You know that. I'm a killer nigga <laughs> for that. Like, you fucking hypocrite. Like, yo, say he's a hypocrite, son. In every sense of the word, son. Like, no, it's not that y'all think that I'm a hypocrite. It's that y'all thought it was over for me because I got shot. You thought it was over. Y'all was praying for my downfall. Then when you seen the white knight Vlad come to the rescue, like your highs, let me throw you a rope. That was the realest shit. The realest shit. I understand what Vlad do. Like when Vlad asked me, so what's up with Max? I looked at him like, what? Scooby Dooby Doo? So you talking about Max, the nigga that got shot on Trio, right across the street from Bronx River? You actually know about that shooting? Yeah, I was looking at Vlad like, holy shit. Word? Yeah, Vlad been watching me for a while. All these top YouTubers and podcasters is watching me. Zip, they only know your name because everybody's watching me. And this is the last time I'm going to address your little dusty, dirty ass. Manolo live and direct. They said Checkmate tried to line you. I knew that was a day one when he addressed 10 toes down when Swelly was there. These dudes are a bunch of weirdos. The first thing they did was tell the internet that Checkmate tried to line me. Instead of trying to give niggas support, niggas was trying to play divide and conquer. And you absolutely, you absolutely correct. Listen to how these niggas is coming off. Y'all got to ask a question, right? How do y'all support a nigga, right? Everybody said Hassan Campbell don't be putting niggas on, but I do. That's why when Zip said, if you made me make another me, nigga, I did. Ten Toes Down is bigger than you. Bullets God, he's bigger than you. Unique Mecca Audio is bigger than you. Like, nigga, I put all these niggas on, and it's even more. Shout out to Ja TV. Y'all don't even know who Ja TV is. He's bigger than these niggas. 05 Older Movement. All of them niggas. I put all of them on. I could keep on going. Make another you. I did already. And this is the thanks that I get. You help a nigga. And the same nigga that you trying to help leaving a knife in your back. Deep. And then smiling. See, I done had niggas that I rock with in life, that I had fallouts with, that they never went to the internet. They never tried to diss me. They ain't never tried to hide about my girl. They like, I ain't messing with him. We ain't messing with each other. Maybe we'll start speaking later on in life. Maybe we don't. But when niggas do you like this, I want it from the bottom of my heart to see good things happen to Gully and this nigga, Zip. But you got to watch niggas. Watch how they do niggas that help them. Gully was bigger than me before I hit YouTube. But his career been like failed. And I was reaching out to him trying to do little things with him and put him on. 
Because the reality of it is, I might have got shot one time on that bet. Well, well, rather, not one time because I got shot more than once. But I got shot the one time I went outside and in 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 not in the right state of mind, not ready. When I'm outside, I'm always ready. That's why when I was on Takashi 69 and I told that nigga I'm never lacking, I'm really, really never lacking. I wasn't in my right frame of mind. But that doesn't matter. Because the reality of it is, I'm not here to prove to you niggas that I'm tough no more. I already showed y'all that. Police came in that goddamn hospital room. There was no statements written. Now, I'm going to show y'all niggas how to live. Because these niggas ain't living like me. I'm going to hurt these niggas' feelings. All in. Alkaline lifestyle. Stand on your truth. No explanations needed. Thank you, family. Appreciate you. Yeah, family, I made a mistake and deleted your comment. That was a mistake, but I gave you a wrench, family. Appreciate you. Shout out to the 4,000 people in the building that's supporting. Right, that's not getting the notifications that y'all spreading right now and giving word of mouth. Like, come on, man. Niggas is celebrating my downfall? I'm just getting started. And it's like, you know what? I'm going to give y'all your final seconds. Your final seconds, because the reality of it is... I know times is hard out there. You niggas is doing bad. So I'm sitting up there. Y'all know my lives get 100, 200,000 views, 80,000 views. Y'all only get 6,000, 8,000. Y'all know the difference. So I'm still showing y'all love by even beefing with you niggas. Lily said, nah, ignore them dirty, dusty ass niggas. This is, this is the last time I'm going to even mention you niggas. So you better take advantage of this. Because life and times is about to get hard for you niggas. Y'all better get on them goddamn book bag lines with Jim Jones and the rest of them handing out them book bags. You better get on them turkey lines, niggas, because times is hard. You better get on them welfare lines, nigga. And shout out to the people that's, that's actually going through poverty. But I'm talking about these niggas. They, they acting like they the shit, nigga. You niggas is 40 years old and ain't got your life together. So you looking at mine. You niggas is looking at my homework. You niggas is looking at my plate. Get your own bitch to cook your plate, nigga. I'm nice. Mad at the white man because he ain't reach out to y'all dusty ass niggas. Every sense of the word. Every sense of the like, yo, that nigga is crazy, bro. He was, he was like, finally, 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 my yeah. dad. Like, what? Yeah. Y'all hear how they coming off? He was like, finally, finally. And you know why he remembered that part? These niggas didn't say nothing about the message, nothing about the conversation, but finally. Fi because when he seen me happy that the white Jesus saved me, but the black Jesus decided to destroy me, these niggas is mad because they wanted to, is this the end? Close to the end of the road. Still, I can't let go. It's a natural. You niggas is mad. You singing boys to men to my nuts. You can't let go. You niggas is like R&B singers. Please don't go away from me. We can work it out. Whatever it may be, Haas, please don't go. No, 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 please don't go. Which one of you niggas is going to hit the high notes on my nuts? Ooh, ooh, baby, baby. Which one of you niggas is going to hit the high note? <laughs> hey, yo, Gully, what do you want to do with it? Zip says, don't matter, just don't bite it. Stop playing with me, man. Listen to these niggas. And this is who convinced you that I went through a door? They 
they want y'all to stop watching me when they can't stop watching me. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Y'all want to see who watching me? They won't give me no privacy. Whoa, I always feel like someone is watching me. Yeah, what? You what? 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 They changed their number. They locked their doors. But you niggas, you got receipts on everything I do in my life. Talking about you disassociated yourself. You only disassociated yourself because you wanted to show me how much you hated me because you had to befriend me. This nigga was so foul. My cousin's baby father, a ill nigga from Queens, got murdered. A ill nigga. He did dirt, he got done dirty. May he rest in peace. Shout out to the family. You used that because you knew him. You reached out to me. Act like you wanted to be family because we family, yeah, because that was family to me. That was family. And you had to get next to me to get nice. You had to get next to me. I want to get next to you. Do, do, do. I want to get next to you. Now look at you. How the fuck you hate a nigga that helped you? And if you had to get away from me, then why are you still dealing with the topic of me? Huh? Inquiring minds want to know. Weed, son. Yeah. Let him crash out. He Let already him crash out. Let him crash out. Get on out guys. the way. It's the holiday season. The algorithm is the most active from November 28th to December 28th. Say get, that. get busy. I'm telling Say you. That. These niggas is getting out of the way. One thing about public opinion, when they get a hold of your ass, one way or another, it's going to affect you. You could be finished, or it could make you. His ass is finished because everybody's seen it. Everybody, he still got videos on his channel right now with his anti Vlad rhetoric. But you want to talk about yeah. my Listen to him. He trying to hop. Yo, Gully, you trying to hype. Zip up to be the next nigga because you know it's over for you. You're 15, you're 15 minutes of fame. It's over. So now you sitting up there being Zip's cheerleader. Yeah, yeah, get him. The algorithm, the algorithm this time of the year, November 28th to December 28th. Nigga, I'm willing to bet my life from November 28th to December 28th, both of you niggas is still going to suck on YouTube. 4,000 people in the building watching me right now. And that's what YouTube playing with my algorithm and not sending my notifications out. Nigga, I done had 30,000 people watch me on this page. 32 precisely. 32,000. You niggas will never get that. Never. Never gonna get it. Never gonna get it. Never gonna get it. Woo, 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 woo. No, you're never gonna get it. Never, never go, my loving, nasty niggas. If I nutted in the tissue and threw it on the floor, you niggas would pick it up. I got that shit. Hassan nutted. Look at it. It's all yellow. What he got, gonorrhea? <laughs> uh. Tori and Howard Terry, love you, bro. Never change. Haters are a sign of progress and dominance. I keep hitting in the head with the headshot. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for sponsoring this war. 
and helping me to fight off the dirty section of YouTube. Shit crazy, right? And these are the real niggas. Real niggas don't do shit like that. That's them slave, that's that slave mentality right there. Real niggas don't move like that. It's crazy because I got a dude, I ain't gonna say his name, that we were sort of beefing with each other, right? And when I got shot, he told Mr. Checkmate, he was like, yo, we ain't been speaking to each other, but when I got shot, that nigga came to the hospital to see me. Tell that nigga I send my love. Y'all don't need to know who he is. He know who he is. And salute to that brother. Like, real niggas don't do shit like this. This ain't, this shit ain't real. Y'all keep forgetting that we all are on the same plantation. We are all on the same plantation. We all was done dirty. The agenda is to destroy us all. But then we got to protect ourselves from each other. And that's when shit gets real on the battlefield. When we got to protect each other or rather protect ourselves from each other. When I got to train my kids how to walk around different blocks to avoid having to kill your kids. Because I taught my kids not to kill your kids. But you ain't teach your kids shit. Well, Zip is a product of an old bitch that ain't, she, that ain't, she ain't teach a nigga nothing. Yeah, my uncle, he threw a grenade in the, in the, in the, at the precinct. That's the highlights of your life. That your whole family wasn't shit. Everybody in your life wasn't shit. Your older brother back in jail because he ain't shit. And if you wasn't sitting on that couch trying to be just like Hassan Campbell, you wouldn't be shit. Hello? That nigga in there punching his fucking ceiling. Yeah. So the whole time you were talking about, you talk about the rap niggas because you wanted to be a rapper. He probably got mad, whack ass raps in his head right now from back in the day. Right. That's why he used to be around them niggas. Was not saying he probably used to be rapping and shit. Right. I said that um, last night on my live stream. I said, you know what I'm if I wanted to be a rapper and I wanted some dope raps, I would keep pushing, which I was pushing already. I'm, I'm fine with what Five God was doing with Black Lives Don't Matter. I'm fine with Lord I Kim. I'm fine, I'm fine with Swelly, R.I.U., Rico, Cousin. I know my lane. I'm better than a rapper, you stupid. Yo, I'm better than a rapper. I'm better than these rappers. I'm bigger than these rappers. I have more of an influence over black people than these rappers. That's why y'all keep talking about me. Lunch in the city. I posted a video on Tidy Gully TV is jealous of Hassan Campbell. He's showing sure enough is. You can see it clear as day. These guys who come to us under the guise of our, our conscious community, they got a, a a big thing with attacking rappers and shit. Because they bitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot, of niggas, yeah. a lot of these niggas with big podcasts right now is bitter rappers. They bitter. They not happy how the rap industry treated them. And so now you can't get no, you know what I'm saying, river with them niggas right now. And I'm saying if you're right. in the rap industry right. like they don't bullshit time. I, I'm mad. And you bitter. You bitter because Hassan Campbell, Hassan Campbell got on his internet and told people beware because you got a 40-year-old nigga that came home from jail that thinks it's okay to sleep with underage girls. You got a 40-year-old dude that came home from jail after doing 18 years in jail, almost 20 years in jail, talking about the little nigga, don't call me big homie because he feels like he still look young because he's so skinny, he look like he got big teeth. 
You so skinny and you stay skinny. You don't want to put on weight like Hassan Campbell and look older. You want to look like the younger version of yourself so you can holler at these young girls that's still teeny boppers. That's why you made it clear. I slapped the shit out of you little niggas for calling me big homie. Because you, you don't want these young girls to think you grandpa. Nigga, you grandpa. And us niggas that's 40 years old, just like you, we don't want you humping on our daughter. Nah, cuz. We don't want you humping on our daughter. You are the epitome of a disgrace. You still standing on the same corner with the little niggas. And you ain't got shit going on in your life. But you mad at me because you see a little glimpse of how light is shining on me. Yeah, because that nigga Hodge, when he first got on YouTube, he was dressed like a bum. I was just dressing in my regular shit. And then I had a shorty tell me that was a bad shorty. Bad, bad shorty. She like, yo, son, us ladies is watching you. And ever since that, I started switching my shit up. Zip, you still looking dusty. Sitting up there talking about you're going to get somebody to help you dress. You need to. You need to. But the reality of it is, you got a bum mentality. And you standing on a bum block. And everything about you looks ghetto. See, you could be from the ghetto, but you don't have to look ghetto. Nigga, you look ghetto. You know you ghetto. You ghetto. You get you nigga, you ghetto. See, I don't apologize for what I've been through as a child. And I'm not even mad at you niggas for making fun about it no more. You know why? Because when y'all do that, you don't even you don't even like you you y'all forgot that America is the plantation. And the slave master, that's what they did to us. You forgot that America. The land of the thief, I mean the home of the slave, that's what they did to us. You forgot that America, when black folks used to be in church, and they used to fan us, and, and Charleston stole this from me, and they used to be in church fanning themselves with them fans. I looked at the fan back in the days, and I seen an alligator and a black baby on the fan. Yeah, remember when they used to throw the Black babies to the alligators? And you fanning yourself in church. You fanning yourself. This is America. So now you got the slaves. Laughing at the slaves. Because the colonizer taught the slave. All right. They yeah, called the police at my house. See the shit that I got to deal with? Niggas swatting my house. Got, got the police surrounding my whole house. This is the shit that I got to deal with on the internet. Nah, it ain't nothing funny. Ain't nothing funny about that. Massive police surrounded, going around my house. Massive police. This is what they do, though. The door. Please, what door? What door? Niggas is trying to send me to my grave and y'all talking about a door. And all my mods with these niggas sitting up there trying to be disrespectful, block these niggas out. Block them out. I'm going to show y'all how foul niggas was. Talking about I went through a door for going on Vlad? Vlad tried to throw a... a, a, a a uh, alley oop to a nigga.
That shit just rattled my nerves. Here we go. Y'all ready for this? Because some of y'all didn't see this. Y'all ready for this? Hey, yo, Breezy, what's poppin', Slime? We out here, man. We got breaking news, man. Niggas is out here. Rob River Projects. I got a challenge, y'all. If, if my cash app get to $100, if my cash app, dollar sign, behind the bar, get to $100, I'm going on the elevator in the Bronx River Projects, and I'm taking it to the top floor. We outside. We looking for Hassan Cable's tripod. This is a YouTuber. Another one that I tried to help. After I got shot, the nigga went to Bronx River Projects. He, Yo, I'm telling y'all right now, if you didn't see this, this was some funny shit, but not funny at the same time. This was some funny shit. And we ain't going to watch the whole hour 35. No, we going to skim through. I just want y'all to see what dogs is doing. Hit the like button so we can get the notifications out, man. Support me. Hit that like button. Get these, get these likes up. I want y'all to pay attention. This shit is about to get funny, but not funny at the same time. This shit about to get real funny. It's book bag. We're looking at shell cases. We interview motherfuckers out here. That's a fact. You know what I mean? So let's get it in. We live and direct behind the bar. It's at the Bronx River Projects in Bronx, New York. Live and direct. We outside. You already know what time it is. Dollar sign behind the bar. If I get a hundred dollars in cash app within the next ten minutes, I'm going upstairs on the elevator to the top floor, walking around hallways. I'm asking niggas questions, all types of shit. Behind the bars, outside. Like, do y'all hear this? This is what I was dealing with while I was trying to heal up, and I'm bleeding in my bed, in pain, taking painkillers. This corny nigga went to my projects. If I would have woke up. And saw him in Bronx River and made a phone call, he would have been done. Because what he got to realize, even though I'm beefing with niggas in Bronx River, I still got niggas that's rocking with me in Bronx River. That would have hurt you. All right, Bronx River Project. Let's get it in, man. BX Boogie. Let's go. Like, share, subscribe to Behind the Ball. You already know what time it is. We outside. Live and direct. Let's get it in, man. All right. I'm outside, yo. He outside, right? He going through the buildings. I'm skipping past all that. Y'all don't want to see all that. We're going to get to the main event. Are you ready for the main event? I'm going to show y'all. Hit the like button. As I'm skimming through, y'all better hit the... Yo, this nigga... I'm, yo, hold up. No, I can't even show y'all all of this. I'm not going to show y'all all of this. I'm going to just get to the part, the main event. Hit the like button. Because I see YouTube keep pulling the numbers back down and back down. Hit the like button. Let's get to the main event. This shit right here. Oh, my God. You think I'm picking up a star to do me to me increase j -Lock? I do a big and big and big and show up. <laughs> Alright, man. Since I'm in the city, I might as well grab something to eat. Since he's in the city, he might as well grab something to eat. So, boom. Let's wait for him to go get something to eat. He went in the store. After he went through the buildings, man, hit the like button. Y'all see they pulling people out of here. Hit the like button. And I know it's hard for y'all to watch these smaller YouTubers, but this shit right here gonna be funny. This shit right here? We're showing y'all gonna buy me a sandwich. We're showing y'all gonna buy me some food, y'all. Anybody gonna buy me some food? That's the least thing y'all could do. I came all the way out here. Least thing y'all could do is buy me a sandwich. Ooh, 
Make it like a cheese. That look good. How you doing, man? Can I get a um, bacon, egg, and cheese? Huh? Oh, I went on the roll, the wrong roll. Thank you so much. Anybody gonna buy me my, um, uh, my bacon, egg, and cheese? Anybody? How much the bacon, egg, and cheese? This nigga is in Bronx River. This is behind the ball, punk ass. A failed YouTuber. Failed YouTuber in Bronx River while I'm shot. So when y'all sitting up there and y'all talking about he went through the door, he went through Vlad. This is what black YouTube was doing to me while I'm in the bed trying to heal up. It's $5, y'all. $5. Fuck a nigga up. Somebody buy me a bacon, egg, and cheese and an orange juice. That's the least thing y'all could do. Sorry. I want a bacon, egg, and cheese and an orange juice. That's about eight dollars, y'all. Look out for your boy, man. I'm on my, I'm on my, um, what's the name? Um, what's my homie? A uh, scheme team. On my scheme team vibe right now. One of these juices. I swear to God, if I would have woke up. And I would have saw the messages that people were sending me that he was in, in Bronx River Pride. Yo, behind the bar, just because I got shot, the way I got shot, and you went to Bronx River playing with me, I'm glad, I thank God almighty, that I didn't catch you in Bronx River because you wouldn't have made it out. And the way that you just got ran down on, if you would have got ran down on by my peoples or me, taunting me after getting shot, Dogs, I would have did the rest of my life in jail for you. And then I would have been a fool because, yo, calling you pussy is an understatement. This shit about to get real. Y'all need to hit the like button. Behind the bar was definitely outside. Oh, I'm going to get a, uh, what do I want to drink? Um, I'm going to get this one right here. <clears throat> Yo, this nigga is walking through the hood like it's something sweet. I ordered a um, bacon, egg, and cheese on a roll, on a round roll, and I'm um, this right here. Moderators in the chat, do me a favor. Moderators, moderators in the chat, do me a favor and um circulate my um circulate my cash app and circulate. This nigga's in the projects. I want y'all to keep watching. He's in the projects, telling the moderators to put his cash app up instead of sending him some bullets out there, some shooters. Stupid nigga. My channel, please let people know. Subscribe to Behind the Bar. We're trying to get to sixteen thousand subscribers. Before the end of the year, we're trying to get to 16,000 subscribers by the end of the year. You know what I mean? So you did this for 16,000. Yo, y'all keep that in mind. He did this because he wanted to get to 16,000 subscribers. Another nigga that I helped. So let's get it in, y'all. 16K, I know we could do it. 
We at fifty. We at five point. We at fifteen point five right now. We at fifteen point five subscribers right now. Fifteen point five hundred. Fifteen thousand five hundred subscribers right now. We are trying to get to um sixteen thousand before New Year's. So please subscribe. Shoot that side by live. Join live. I see you. D nice. I see you. Shout out to the people who wanted to see the real content as far as me interviewing a lot of people outside here and all that. No, but I made thirty six dollars, so you know, you know how that go. But you know, he's mad because he only got thirty six dollars. So now I'm gonna try to speed this nigga up. What the? F I did not do that. That's not what I did. That was not me. See, that's why I didn't want to skip nothing. What's up? Here we go. Ain't Hold up, cause yeah, I'm, I'm trying to skip past the bullshit. We almost there. That's about eight dollars, y'all. Look out for your boy, man. I'm on my, I'm on my, um, what's the name? Um, I'm ready? What's my homie? A uh, scheme team. On my scheme team vibe right now. <laughs> One of these juices. If y'all didn't hear this, just listen, because. You got this clown ass nigga going to the hood to try to stalk me, right? He in my hood. Then you got another clown ass nigga. Now, you got to ask yourself a question, right? Why does Tim Toes down even know who behind the bar is? Because he watched everybody that's watching me. Now, look at these niggas. Behind the bar was definitely outside. Oh, I'm going to get a, uh, what do I want to drink? Um, I'm going to get this one right here. <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> Phil, I caught that comment. Nigga said, let me get a fried rat on a roll. <laughs> Miami, he's risking his life for a bacon, egg, and cheese. Watch. Watch this, yo. Yo, hit the like button. Stop playing, man. <laughs> yo, I ain't gonna even lie. I got to contain myself because I'm not going to lie. I thought this was the funniest shit. This shit was the funniest shit. Y'all better pay attention. This shit, it's about to get real funny. I swear to God, I was crying when I seen this shit. <laughs> I ordered a um, bacon, egg, and cheese on a roll. On a round roll, and I'm this right here. <laughs> Please forgive me ahead of time for laughing. Because, yo, some of y'all that have seen this shit, y'all know why I'm laughing. Yo. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Moderators in the chat, do me a favor. Moderators, moderators in the chat, do me a favor and um circulate my um circulate my cash app and circulate my my channel, please. Let people know. Subscribe to Behind the Bar. We're trying to get to sixteen thousand subscribers before the end of the year. We're trying to get to 16,000 subscribers by the end of the year. You know what I mean? 
So let's get it in, y'all. 16K, I know we could do it. We have 50... We at five point. We at fifteen point five right now. We at fifteen point five subscribers right now. Fifteen point five hundred, fifteen thousand five hundred subscribers right now. We are trying to get to um sixteen thousand before New Year's. So please subscribe. Shoot that shout out in live. Join in live. I see you. D nice. I see you. Shout out to the people who wanted to see the real content as far as me interviewing a lot of people outside here. And all that, no, but I made thirty-six dollars, so you know, you know how that go. <laughs> but you know, I think I did enough, right? I've been out here for over a half an hour. I've been out here for over a half hour. It's the thing about the hood: you outside for over a half an hour, and people are watching, and you giving niggas enough time to set up on you. The freaks come out at you know this was broad daylight. He thought it was something sweet. You know what I mean? Shout out to Lady Fresh. All the moderators in the chat, make sure y'all subscribe to the... Oh, shit. Ten toes down! <laughs> What's up, man? What's... Oh, so it's like that? No, we got ten toes down. Okay. What's up? Yo, how he muted that out? The sound was in there. Ain't nothing. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. 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 Take the what? Lead the what? <laughs> Yo, when I saw this shit right here, this shit right Hit the like button. <laughs> Hit the like, nigga. If y'all want me to play some more of this, you better... This shit was... Yo... yo. When I saw this, now you got to keep in mind, right? I'm shot up. Bleeding, being patched up. Taking painkillers. I was sleeping when this nigga was doing this. If I would have woke up to this. Behind the bar, if I would have woke up and caught you in my projects. Some of the niggas that would have ran down on you. It would have been bad. You think it because I'm beefing with a nigga in Bronx River that there's still not niggas in Bronx River that's still rolling with me. If I would have caught niggas and told them you was in Bronx River, this nigga, he did you nice. Nigga, well, you doing that because you on camera. Now, turn that line off, matter of fact, man. Turn that shit off, man, because you want to keep shit on camera before you can try to use that shit against nigga. Turn the line off. Turn the line off or I'll smack you on live, pussy. I smacked you on the mouth. What's up? That's how you feel? That's how, that's how I feel. Yeah, what's up? Hey, what's up? That's how I feel. You did all that gangster talk, and you ain't doing shit. My hands in your face, pussy, you ain't doing nothing. I'll fuck you up in this store. I can't do this shit away. Then I'll pay Then I'll pay you. 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 at the counter. Thank you. How, yo, how you thinking a nigga behind the counter when a nigga in front of your face is calling you all types of bacon, eggs, and cheeses? Police wasn't posted out there. I'll finish you. But you 
but you better be careful where the fuck you going right now, nigga. All right. Police was posted in Bronx River after I got shot because they was looking for a retaliation. Because they know my rap sheet. Oh, they know my rap sheet. They was definitely waiting for a retaliation. But look at the body language, right? Look at the body language. Nigga talking about bluffing. He bluffing the nigga. He filling him out. He rolled up on him with his hand in his pocket. So he's bluffing him right now. And once he realized... Once Ten Toes Down realized that behind the ball was Punani, when he realized he was Punani Juice, he said, I ain't even got to keep my hand in my pocket no more. I can stick my finger in his... That's cool. Yo, that nigga's dead. He was talking right. shit. I'm right here. Respect. 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 Now, talk the shit you talk on online. Talk that shit right there. Talk that shit you talk online. Right yeah, we, we got exclusive, y'all. I respect it. I, I respect it. I respect it. All right, talk you know what? The nigga said, we got an exclusive. Yeah, it was exclusive. You had a nigga run down on you and spit all in your face and tell you that on a live, yeah, I'm spitting all in your face. Lights, cameras, action. Your bitch was at home looking at you live. Thinking to herself, this is the nigga I'm giving the Punani juice to? Every time she lay down with you, I guarantee you she got to get drunk. Because she's looking at a weak nigga. And the one thing a woman wants, especially coming from the black community, is a man that's going to protect her. Sooner or later, behind the bar, you're going to get a nigga that's going to walk up behind your wife. He going to breathe down the back of her neck. Her ass, her tail going to start wagging. She going to move her tail to the side and arch her back and it's over for you. Over. One thing women don't want in the black community is a weak ass man. All right, cool. Mm -hmm. We got 10 toes down in the building. What's going on, Tim? What's going on, baby? You good? You Gucci? All right. We got 10 toes down, y'all. Respect, man. Respect. He came up and put up on behind the bar, and he not scared. I, I respect it. I respect it, yo. I respect it, man. I respect it. I respect it. Listen, listen. You respect the nigga telling you to put your hands up while he's spitting in your face and your punk-ass son. Nigga, you might as well just abort your son now. You just turned your son into a cur. Because if his daddy's a cur, see, in a dog game, right, we used to breed fighting dogs. And when a dog don't fight back, dudes used to put him in a black bag and throw him in the garbage. Now, they could take you and your son because your blood is cur and throw him in the garbage. And your wife, well, she's just waiting for a real nigga to come pound cake her. Huh? She waiting for a real nigga to make a leg shake. I'm going to make your legs shake. I'm going to make your... Yeah. Your wife waiting for a nigga to make her legs shake. She waiting to do that 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 Eddie Murphy. Woo! You? You go to the supermarket, you got to get behind the bitch. She get popping, you got to get... You got to use that as a shield. Is this the illest nigga? The That's why I'm the best of the best. You niggas keep taking notes. My children. That's 
stuff we talk on the internet, I, I'm glad that this ain't no digital Hollywood. It's all good, my nigga. What's up? I ain't got a problem with you. Why you got problems with me for? You know how we do at content creators. You know what it is. But you know how we do. Because you talk the shit. You put gangsta. You talk shit. You call me K2, my nigga. You know that. You said you did that to me first. Bro, nigga, I never come out at no nigga bro, disrespect. You said, disrespect. you said to me, I'm one of the new, new, new me either. You made the first video about me, my nigga. What we doing, my nigga? I came at you with respect. He called him. He said, you called me a Hassan Campbell meat eater. Did y'all hear that? He called him a Hassan Campbell meat eater. And the reason why he called him a Hassan Campbell meat eater, because he was a Hassan Campbell meat eater. Grande. Nigga, I started you off. And you knew you couldn't be successful on YouTube unless you started making this videos. So you made this videos for two years straight and never let up. You in Bronx River because you stalking one of my stalkers. How real is that? What Jay-Z said, how real is this? I'm from where the news cameras never come. Come for belong where I'm from, Marcy, son. Ain't nothing nice. Been to many places, but I'm Bronx River's own. You stalking my stalker. How y'all explain this? He's in Bronx River stalking my stalker. Neither one of these niggas is from the projects. They want some brotherly love shit, nigga. With everybody like I do. You ain't never show me love, my nigga. Everybody loves nigga. I'm about coming together. I would never come at nobody. Show me my first video I ever made about you. Well, on your just, channel, my nigga, got 13,000 views, my nigga. Oh, boy, before that, what did you do, B? Ain't no need to even go back and forth. That's that. okay, that's okay. You said what you said, you right. what you do. Right, right, right. All I'm telling you now, right now, nigga, is right here, solidified, nigga. You did all that talking on there, you gangsta and all that, nigga. You a pull up and all that. You ain't pulling up, nigga. Because you a wrong truck right here. Anybody out here, B? You better take your fucking ass back to where you from, nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. Just come through with you gangsta like that. Come on, nigga. All right. How many times I done called him out to come outside and meet me while I was live? How many times I told that nigga to come in my yard so we could get it on? Because he know better. He knew what he was doing to this chump ass nigga. But I called the nigga on the phone after he did that. I ain't going to even lie. Like, yo, why you didn't hit him? That's how you know he ain't built from that. Because he should have smacked that nigga one time. Yo, if Tim Toes Down would have smacked him, I would have gave him every dollar out of my bank account. If Tim Toes Down would have smacked him in this video, I would have gave him every dollar out of my bank account. You look at the police there, nigga. You scared to go to jail for a smack? This is New York. You smack somebody in Connecticut, you might do three years. You smack a nigga in New York, they're going to give you a DAT and tell you to come back to court for like a year straight, then they're going to throw the case out. And see, see, it, it is what it is, man. I'm letting you know. And I ain't got nothing on me either. I'm a sweatpants, so you know I ain't got nothing on me. I got a bacon, nigga, cheese, and a cell phone. I ain't got nothing on me, man. It is what it is. <laughs> nigga said, I got a bacon, egg, and cheese with a sweatsuit on. <laughs> Y'all see what I was going through while I was shot? And y'all mad at me. Because Vlad was watching all this shit. And he threw me a lifeline. Because he seen black people trying to dog me. And y'all mad? Talking about I went through a door. Because I did an interview with a nigga. That I felt like was an enemy to black people. But the nigga showed me love. When black people was trying to destroy me, he gave me a lifeline. Hmm. The law knows best. Hey. All right, man. It is what it is, bro. All right. We outside, y'all. Shout the ten toes down, man. 
Did this nigga just shout out a nigga that spit it all in his face? And told YouTube, I spit all in his face? And told him, turn the camera off so I could beat you up. And you didn't turn the camera off. And then when you said, I'm going to turn the camera off, he told you, no, keep it on so I can keep disrespecting you. Take the what and leave the what? Are you... Hello? Hello? Wow. Wow. Do y'all see what the YouTubers was trying to do to me? If I sat up there and played all the videos of how these niggas was trying to destroy me when I was in a vulnerable state, and you talking about why he sat down with Vlad, he a hypocrite. Because sometimes your enemy can become your friend. Sometimes your enemy can become your friend. Niggas, niggas was doing this to me when I was shot. How the fuck you think I feel mentally when I woke up and I had to see this shit with this bird ass nigga in my projects? Now he walking behind him, stalking him to get footage for YouTube because he knew he ran down on a soft ass nigga. I don't give 10 toes down no props for running down on this nigga. I thought it was funny though. It gave me some humor while I was taking painkillers, but why he ain't smack him? He could have smacked that, yo. It is what it is. This is what I had to deal with. And y'all asking me why, why I sat down with Vlad? He saw what black people did to the black man. And the white man came to the rescue. And now y'all want to call me a sucker. Because I don't have no friends. Who y'all seen defending me on the internet when everybody else was dragging, dragging me? Shout out to Hocus 4 5th. I'm from Castle Hill. I'm from Soundview. Hocus got pissed off. Niggas wasn't defending me. Oh, I thought Hassan Campbell was supposed to be the illest. Nigga, I was in a hump. I was in a broken state when I broke down. Trying to get the attention of my people to back me and my message and my real cause. Because my real cause, they know what my real cause is. That's why they keep playing with my numbers. And my numbers are still four or five times better than these niggas. Y'all mad? Because I made an ally with a white dude? And sometimes enemies... Can become, can become friends to defeat other enemies and become enemies later on. But the reality of it is, I ain't got nothing else to say about Vlad. I'm going to mind my business. Because now I understand why certain folks didn't get involved in slavery. Because at that point, in order for us to be put in slavery, we had to betray each other. And all you see on social media is us betraying each other, us stabbing each other. I mean, they smile in your face, 
All the while, they want to take your place, them backs. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed ever since I, I started saying that, they start playing that song in TV series and movies. I know. Y'all ain't going to never give me credit for that. You think the world ain't watching me right now? Y'all act like niggas ain't watching me. Right, give me a second because I'm trying to find something for y'all. Y'all ready for this? What exactly happened in the Bronx about a week ago or so? Well, um, ooh, ooh, it's burning. Oh, I think I saw for the tough shit. <laughs> ooh, 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 it's burning. Ooh, look at the camera. Ooh, ooh. What exactly happened in the Bronx about a week ago or so? Well, um, ooh, ah, ooh, it's burning. I think I saw for the tough shit. <laughs> ooh, 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 it's burning. Ooh. Look at the camera. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, shall we begin? I think disrespect, it earns disrespect, right? Huh? So, Gully, right? Uh, Gilly, Gilly, let me stop confusing you for, the, for that bum-ass nigga. Let me put some respect on your name. So what was Cheese doing when he got his snot box rock? Huh? Gilly. What was... She's last words. When they hit him in the head with the... Huh? Nigga got struck with the... Mm, hit with the... Mm, Nigga got poked with the mmm. Mmm. Nigga got stuck with the mmm. Gilly. Mmm. Your son got hit with the mmm. Poked with the mmm. I'm still alive. Gilly. I'm still alive. Young Cheese got hit with the mmm. Stuck with the mmm. Poked with the mmm. He died with the mm -hmm. Gilly. May Allah forgive me for being so childish. Your little man's. When your blood sacrificed him, Allah said that was the end. 
Is this the end? Mama told me once that it was going to happen, but she never told me when. She told me it would happen when I was much older. Well, she would have. Nigga, your, your, your baby mama never told your son that it'll be, it'll be his daddy and his uncle Wallow that I sit up there and make him an expendable. See, because what y'all fail to realize is when you watch that movie on um, Final Destination, selling your soul, death finds you. It finds your family when you sell their soul. So it could come in the form of a murder. It could come in the form of a roller coaster ride. It could come in the form of Kanye West's mother getting an operation and Kanye West telling y'all that they sacrificed his moms. Young Cheese got hit with the mmm, -hmm, stuck with the mmm. -hmm. God found purpose. I went the Bronx River begging for death. And God said, her song Campbell, I'm not done with you. But young cheese, he went from the cold concrete to the coroner where billionaires bought his organs from being an organ donor. He went to the freezer. From the freezer, he went to the dirt. From the dirt, maggots ate him. And after the maggots ate your son, you went to the party. You and Wallow was promoting parties. Y'all was selling tickets. You was in the club dancing. And ever since Young Cheese died, named after Big Cheese, you not even Big Cheese. He was raised by another nigga. You don't even celebrate his name or his life, but you got midgets fighting during Doomsday in America. You got midgets fighting during doomsday in the last days of America. What's in the favors of your Lord do you deny? I mean, you had a Muslim burial, but I never heard you say, I will do be like him in a shaitan Ibrahim. Bismillah Rahman Ibrahim. No. You were doing as if the Romans do. In the Roman Empire, because in the days of Rome, when Rome was destroying the world, they gave you gladiators to ignite the arena. This is Spartacus. You was watching Gannicus. You was watching Criscus. And now in today's time, you watching football. You watching basketball. You watching Cameron and Mace. You watching Gilly and Wallow while they try to fade out Hassan Campbell. Because this is one of the last of a real dying breed. Your son is dead and you forgot about him already. I'm still shedding tears over my past. Nigga, you over your dead son. Nigga got stuck with the mmm. -hmm. Hit with the mmm. -hmm. Nigga got poked with the mmm. -hmm. Are you not entertained? Is this not why you here? Nigga got poked with the mmm. -hmm. Stuck with the mmm. -hmm. Nigga got hit with the mmm. -hmm. What? Mmm. -hmm. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait, 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 wait a minute. So you telling me, hold up. So you telling me, you got niggas getting ready to fight in a ring? To entertain black people during Doomsday and World War III? But you won't go to the hood and fight the niggas that shot your son? <laughs> yeah, I went to the hospital. Woo! Woo! Nigga, I've been back to the hood since I've been shot. Them niggas ain't been standing outside. Nigga, I've been back to the hood since I've been shot. 
Where you been since your son been shot? Mmm. Nigga got poked with the mmm. Stuck with the mmm. Nigga got slapped with the mmm. 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 Did your son do the Harlem Shake when he got shot? Or did he just die? I'm only asking because I'm trying to see the level of anger that you supposed to have. Because you got midgets fighting, but you ain't fighting for your little nigga. My prayers go out to Young Cheese. But he got stuck with the mmm. -hmm. Hit with the mmm. -hmm. Nigga got stuck with the mmm. -hmm. Fuck you think you playing with. Definitely have I, in the Bronx about a week ago or so. Well, um, ooh, ooh, it's burning. I think I'm tough with the shit. Ooh, 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 it's burning. Ooh, look at the camera. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> what is happening now? Yeah, that bullet was burning, and I took that shit like a champ. Came home strong. That shit burnt your son. He didn't even get a chance to breathe. Oh, one into the two, two into the three, three into the four. Then you gotta breathe. Then you gotta, oh, your son wasn't strong enough. Or, once you made that blood sacrifice, Allah decided that there was no coming back. Hasta la vista, baby. Oh, the disrespect can get disrespectful. See, the good thing about it is, I'm a real nigga. I won't piss on your son's grave. My bad. Because him dead. R.I.P. 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 Rest. I pray that he do rest in peace. I'm only showing you I could be just as disrespectful as you. But I pray for that little brother. Because instead of his son, his father fighting for his son. What? Hold up. What these niggas doing? Let me see. Oh, so y'all so striking down? That's what y'all doing? Y'all having Instagram strike down my Instagram, nigga? As long as y'all don't take my youth, I don't give a goddamn about Instagram. Niggas knock down my Instagram. Okay, there you go. Come on. Come on. That nigga's son is dead And he got midgets fighting What? Take the what and leave the That nigga's son dead And he got midgets fighting And y'all talking about me? I'm gonna 
This is what black people is doing right now. So this is what black people are doing right now. When we are on the on, on the verge of World War Three, when America is being infiltrated by different armies, while laws are being passed in New York City, they just passed a law in New York City that you don't have the rights no more. To be at home being sick. If they deem you sick with a disease. They can take you and quarantine you. In concentration camps. And take you and your children. And treat you with whatever medicines. That they deem fit for you. Even if it costs you your life. And this is what the Roman Empire. Is doing with these gladiators. In front of your face. Are you not entertained? They just passed a law in New York City to be able to take the residents out of your home. And they flooded New York City with refugees. Black people, you're not black. You are native to American. You have a short period of time to claim your land. Malcolm X knew this. This is why they rocked this snot box. Because he knew that you had a short period of time. Now, everybody in America have the right to claim America more than African Americans because you're not African American. You are a native. You have been played out of your position. This was a chess move. And once the new war order comes into full effect, you will never, ever, ever get your land back. Bill Gates is buying it. China is buying it. You don't have seeds in your fruits anymore. So everything that you eat, in, eat, including the fruit, is dead. The seeds gave life. The fruitless seeds give death. You are losing on the battlefield. You are last on the battlefield. And instead of you helping each other, you are attacking each other. You are attacking each other on the battlefield. And then y'all praise these niggas for stealing my lines. For stealing who I am. Charleston White ain't never been serious about black people. That nigga ain't no different from the uncle that paid your way to college and molested you at the same time. But y'all praise that nigga for this fake ass shit. When we got real shit going on on real time. Nigga, these people that rule the world are building doomsday bunkers. They are building vaults to hide the seeds that they took from your fruit. And y'all fighting each other. Slaves promoting slaves to go against each other. Shannon Hall, keep going, brother Hassan. Down with Bill Gates. Thank you for sponsoring this war. Appreciate you, family. What we doing here? I came to cook. And if y'all want me to keep on cooking, hit that like button. If not, I ain't got to stay live with y'all. I could do bad by myself. If it ain't no love in this chat, then hit the like button. What am I standing here for? I want everybody to hit the like button to show us. How many people was really in the building? Because you couldn't pay me to believe that we only got 4,000 people in the building. I know better than that. What y'all waiting for? Start hitting the like button to see if the numbers go up. 
Bucky Jones, Gilly's son is dead. Your son is a girl, though. Yep, my son is allowed to suck as much balls as he want to. But Gilly's son, he dead. My son can still repent to a law and say, please forgive me for being a cupcake. Because the little nigga a cupcake. But Gilly's son is dead. And I'm still alive. Did you make your point? Thank you. Nigga, dad. God didn't see anything left in the little nigga to keep him alive. And the killers was real killers. They ain't see nothing in that little nigga to keep him alive. They smoked him. What is you talking about? Play with me. I could get just as raw as these niggas get with me. I could get just as foul as niggas. Nigga, I'm from the gutter. I ain't never seen a Bronx River nigga bow down to any other nigga from any other place. Not me. Nigga got his own son smoked and y'all still celebrating him. That nigga's son is dead and y'all still celebrating him. What exactly happened in the Bronx about a week ago or so? Well, um, ooh, ooh, it's burning. I think I'm top of the tough shit. <laughs> <laughs> This is what she was doing when your son died. Look at him. Look at him. His son fresh in the casket. This was what he was doing. The nigga's son was fresh in the casket. This is what he doing. Look at him. Look at him. I'm just asking. Your son just got murdered. Who's doing this? His son just got murdered. This was he this is what he was doing. Do this nigga look like a man that just lost his son? Stop playing with me, man. Do he look like a man that just lost his son? Nigga got struck. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. God bless you, Haas. It wasn't your time. Your voice is needed in these day, these last days of America. Thank you, family. I appreciate you. Like, I ain't even get started yet. I ain't even get started yet. Hit the like button, man. Is Gilly a possum or a mole? Good question. I ain't got to play the music, the song to them signing this contract was talking about blood sacrifice. The song that they played while they were singing, while they were signing this contract was talking about blood sacrifice. That nigga's son gone. He promoting fights, but he ain't fighting for his son. That's why them niggas hate me. Because I'm waking too many people up to the evils. Look at his face. Grab the bottle of liquor. Grab the spirits. The, shame, the same shit that had me outside depressed. 
or the suicide man, look at him signing that contract. They got his son struck with the mmm, -hmm. hit with the mmm, -hmm. give him a hug. Hug me, baby, hug me, baby, hug me, baby. We did it. Nigga thought he was Dora the Explorer. I mean, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a part of that, at that Hollywood, you know what I'm saying? I, I got a Hollywood agency, you know what I'm saying? I'm, Let I'm me ask that you a question, right? I can't say too much, but I'm going to say it. Has it ever been a time where it's done? Have you ever got a visitor? A visitor? Like somebody come to your house? <laughs> uh, how can I explain this? Uh, when you're getting to certain levels and you're going up, somebody come see you. And when it comes out to me, why Gilly Lack? Somebody come and see you to help you go to the next, next, <laughs> next level. Why is Gilly Lack? A lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of people, you know how you see, you might see somebody that's not that talented or not that funny, or whatever, and all of a sudden they be all the way up here and you trying yeah. to figure out how that happened. It, now I'm going to rephrase this question. <laughs> Have anybody came to visit you? Ah, uh, nah. Hell no. Nah. Yeah. Did Hollywood call you yet? Why he laughing? Gilly trying to play it off. Because he realized. Come on, man. Stop playing with me. Oh, I'm going to have a Phil's day. Shit crazy. Nigga sitting up there promoting fights, promoting parties. But it's Sunday. And y'all mad at me because y'all want to believe in these false prophets and I won't let y'all. Right after she's died. It's four days. Four days. Four days. Four days until Gilly Fest is going down. There's 150 tickets up. Link in the bio. If you want your ticket, they'll be going before the day is over. Listen, it's going down. And guess what? We got the fight there. Earl Spence, Terrence Crawford, the fight. We're playing the fight loud. We're going to have the biggest fight party in the country. And guess what? We're coming out to celebrate Low Cuz. Cheese, man. Rest in peace. But listen, we putting that good energy out to the community, to the world. Like I told you, it ain't going to stop, but it's going down. Listen, we got G Herbo. We got Finesse Two Time. We got Babyface Ray. We got Jess Hilarious, Desi Banks. We got Skiller Baby. We got Peasy. We got Sauce Walker. We got Millie's. We got Fake Bitch Hero, Rocky. We got, the list goes on and on. We got Freeway, Allen Iverson. You know, Rob Ford Nine. I'm talking about the list. Just keep, it just keep going. Ice wear bezel. It just keep going. Just keep going and going. But guess what? We got two artists that's coming here, right? And these artists is coming. These special guests. They're huge in the industry. I'm talking about it's going down. You don't want to miss this going down. We gonna have some good fun. Put some good energy into the air, man. You know, thank first of all, thank everybody for just supporting us in every way. Everything we do is always sell out. Thank y'all. But uh. This is going to be a bunch of love that day, man. And thank y'all for pushing us through that whole last week, man. All the support and everything. It was greatly appreciated. Hit the link in the bio. Grab your tickets. Four days. Gilly Fest is going down. And it's just like that. Right. Did y'all hear how he just brushed off? Cheese death? Thank y'all for getting us through last week. It wasn't even a whole week. And it's just like that. That's how fast the nigga moved on so fast. He remembered everybody's name in the card after that little boy got murdered like that. Rest in peace, Cheese. That's a shame. They were worried about an event and the young man just passed away. That's why these niggas hate me. Because I'm waking too many people up too fast. Doomsday is here. People are waking up too fast even though it's too late. Look. What's in Philly? I guess we'll make it. I don't know. Yeah, we'll yeah, make, make it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, but we'll make it. It depends who you is. Like, yeah. niggas like me, like rappers, motherfuckers that, you know, it's a lot of hate, a lot of shit going on, so. Right, 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 right. right. Mm. I don't even put myself in them 
So you get tricky out here. Mm-hmm. But you gotta move smart. Like I don't we the type of people I don't put I don't put my homies in risk, get locked up, get killed, none of that. We move around with security. Right. Can't be too cute, can't be no, we pay protect our lives. Perfect. Why not have five niggas with guns that can legally you feel me? Yeah. Instead of risking your homies getting locked up, some shit happening. Listen for Shout out to Big Cheese for raising little cheese. Shout out to Big Cheese for being an inspiration to little cheese. Shorty got slaughtered in them streets. And his daddy? Yo. What's the good of being a daddy? Daddy means protector. His father didn't protect him. But he, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, nigga. The spell you cast on your son, he ain't make it through that. You did that to him. Dog Soldier Digital, we need to love people the same way we love things. Hmm. Good luck. Donate blood and watch VTuber, whatever. Failed mission. It's a level of success where it's a door. It's a door. When you platinum and you're getting 50000 a show, I've been there. There's a door that you can walk in. I'm not sure if it's homo or if it's Illuminati. I just didn't take that, though. I went straight. What do you, what do you mean? Yeah, this, listen, listen. This, when, you get to, when you get to a level of success, when you're getting 30, 40, 50,000 a show, you platinum, you're running across the world, there's, a, there's three different doors, right? There's three different ways to walk. There's to the left. There's to the right. And then there's straight. To, straight is your own, your own. Let's see if you continue this success, young man. <laughs> Let's see if, if it's all about your skills, young man. Let's really see that. Okay. You went straight. To the right? I'm not sure if that's the homo shit right there. And then there's to the left. I'm not sure if there's some sacrifice shit going on right there. I'm not sure because I went straight. But I was offered these doors. It's just your offer. I, 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 some, some gay shit? I don't, no, 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 no. I, I'm saying that to the right when I seen it, they, those was those guys over there. You know what I'm saying? Those 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 different people, which I have no problem with. You know, that's, that, that's y'all. You feel me? And I just chose to go straight. You know, it's sad. When a straight man sits up there and lie and say that he doesn't have a problem. Where we come from, we do have a problem with sword fighting. But he can't say that because the people that rules all this shit is sword fighting. is not what it seems to be. Listen, this is a rapper. You got 200 followers. I bet you there's rappers in here right now that can rap way better than me. You can't. You can rap way better than me. You will never be where I'm at because this industry is rigged. It's rigged. Listen, you have to sit down with Spotify. Sit down with Apple. You have to do this interview. You have to. Yes, if you don't want to, you have to. You have to go see this person and sit down and talk to them. You have to go and do this. You have to. Yo, you can really, check the boxes. Literally, you could say, I don't feel like doing that. I don't even like that person. You have to. You're a puppet. You can't say some shit. Take that down. Take it down right now. Okay, 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 okay. I'll don't say that. Tell you facts. Hit. Nigga, I made all this shit popular. Don't, 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 yo, don't play with me. The door? Nigga, I kicked that goddamn door down and disrespected it. Forever, forever, ever. The door? 
Nigga, I sat down on a platform with a blogger blogging just like me. That shit didn't make my life better. They waited for the momentum and they tried to kill my numbers down even more. Y'all know damn well I have way more people in my lives than 4,200 people. If I went through the door, why my numbers look so fucking low? But smaller YouTubers, I know my numbers look great to you, but not to me. 99% of these so-called celebrities are puppets controlled by the shaitan. Yep. I come from a space now where I understand that doors open and behind those doors are other doors. Mm -hmm. I'm the guy that wants to keep opening up the doors and I'm going to be with the people that get them open. That's it. It's that simple. Mm -hmm. You know what he had to take a shot. I come from a space now. now let me break something down to y'all, right? Let me break something down to y'all. Y'all watch me go outside in the battlefield, right? Get shot. The bullet goes through my back. It stopped in the area where my lungs and my heart was at. Y'all watch me drive to the hospital. Watch the bullets being taken out of me. And watch me come back. A champion. When you got God on your side, you don't sell out to the devil. And when God sends you an angel, you accept your escape route. Because some of y'all, y'all pray. And y'all ask God to rescue you. And sometimes your enemy will come and rescue you, but you'll turn it down because you can't see that God sent whatever it took to get you off a of doomsday and whatever was destroying you. You niggas walk away from your blessings because you don't know how to recognize one when you see one. The reality of it is everything comes with a price. You eat some food, some spaghetti with some hot sauce, you get heartburn. There's a price for everything. But some things and some lines and some doors, I'm never going to cross. Now, here's the reality of it. Is whatever path I take, if you disagree with the path that I'm taking, what the fuck is you still looking at me for? If you don't like the course that I'm going in life, what are you still looking at me for? That's all. You shouldn't have to be so raw. They talking about the occult door. I shouldn't have to be so raw. The guy got shot in broad daylight on camera. You talking about not to be so raw. Shut the fuck up. I got the official behind the bar. This song, play it. Who the hell want to hear behind the bar this song? Who the hell gives a goddamn behind about behind the bar? Who? The shitty section of YouTube, you know, when you go in somebody's yard and you or you walking through a certain neighborhood and you step in dog shit. That channel was equivalent to dog shit. And you talking about you got a diss track? Kill yourself. Because life is not worth living when you got to pay attention to niggas like him. That means you're weak. You listen to you like you, 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 you like a catfish. You on the bottom of the ocean eating doo-doo. Watching behind the bar in the dirty section of YouTube is equivalent to eating doo-doo at the bottom of the fish tank. Ew? Who do that? You. <laughs> You.
Love in you and I. You're the number one. When you see that he's on trial, accused, and that his lyrics can now be used against him in this trial. That's horrible. It's a travesty. Uh, I've been rapping professionally for 30 years. I've lied in almost 95% of my songs. <laughs> Being lied, lied, lied. lied. Like, how, just, just go. I, I write like I feel that day. Mm -hmm. I'm just being creative. You know, you, you could probably put, you couldn't build the jail high enough for the lyrics I've said on songs, which are all untrue. What I am is a family man, a person who gives back to my community all the time, open businesses in my community. So the music would never amount to the actual person, Joseph Cartagena. Mm -hmm. So, What's, what's even more horrible is that the district attorneys, they know those lyrics ain't real. They know that's creativity. But if it helps their case, they'll use it to put these guys in jail. And here we're having a fun show about it and discussion. But there really is six defendants in Atlanta who might spend the rest of their life in jail for something that's uh, totally not true. Yeah, you're saying this is not a laughing matter. This is very serious. Well, this is very serious. Mm -hmm. This destroys families. This destroys... Uh, I would I would say those guys got to What's your reaction when you see? Daughter of the Most High, shout out to you. Oh, my God. I made it three years ago. I'm ahead of my time. I saw the catfish is a freshwater fish. So it can't be at the bottom of the ocean. No, we're still at the bottom of the ocean. The river, rather river ocean it's a bottom feeder in my tank matter of fact i'm glad you said that can we take a detour real quick so i can shut this nigga up let me know in the comment section i want to take a detour do some dope shit right now and show y'all my fish tank miss nyc nine um seven nine I know you know what really matters. 100, if you don't know by now, you'll never know. 100. Yes or no? Can I take a detour real quick? Just because he said that. Can I take... Thank you. Give me a second. <laughs> Hold up. Hold up. Wait. Let me turn my fish tank. I got to set the lights now because I want y'all to see in my tank. Right? And I want y'all to wa wait for the catfish, the scavengers to come out. The freaks come out at night. The freaks come out at night. The freaks come out at break them up. The freaks come out at night. Hold up, hold up. Uh oh. 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 Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Look, y'all. Put some food at the top of the tank. We're going to have fun with this. We live tonight, right? We lit, right? We lit, right? Okay. Give me a second. Hold on. Let me put that right there for a second. Let's wait for them bottom feeders to come out. Look, look at the turtles. You see the turtles? Uh-oh. Yeah, we different over here. Watch, watch, look, look. See the bottom feeder? That catfish is about to come out. Yeah. Show you my turtles. My African cichlids. Uh-oh. Come on, catfish. Come on. Look, look, one of my cats just went over there. He's going to come back out. You know, we looking for the bottom feeders. We looking for the bottom feeders. Look, there you go. Look at the catfish. 
It eats all the nasty stuff on the bottom of the floor. Look at them eating all the stuff on the bottom of the floor. That is the catfish right there. That's the bottom feeder. That's your zip with the drip. That's your behind the bar. That's your 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 your, your own. What the hell is his name again? Like, damn, what is his name? The nigga that ran down on him. The um, uh, whatever his name is. Like, damn, yeah. Look at the bottom feeders. Look, eat the doodle. -doo. Eat the doodle. -doo. Eat it. Eat it. Look, stomach is filled too with doodle. -doo. Over here, you got the turtles. Turtles ain't eating everything. They eating a good life. Look. It's a 180-gallon fish tank. Look, look, look. It's my turtle right there. My brother T-Mac gave me. He had that turtle for like 12 years. 13 years. Matter of fact, it might have been longer than that. Look. African cichlids. Expensive fish. Yeah. Look. Look at the other catfish. The smaller one. It went under the tunnel right there. Look. Big one right there. Another smaller one. There's more catfish in here, too. I'm surprised. They ain't come out yet. Uh-oh. Look, look. Look at the catfish. Eat a doodle. Scavengers. Look. Look at the baby catfish coming out. Look at the other catfish. Oh, they're coming out. I got catfish in there. Oh, it went over this way. Uh-oh. One in the hole. One in the tunnel. One in the tunnel. Uh-huh. It's the projects over there. Captain Caveman. Look, 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 look. This is the best part of the live right here. Look, look, look. Come on. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, look at the African fish. That's the African cichlid right there. Look, look, look at the catfish. Look at the catfish. Eating all the doodle -doo on the bottom. Mm -hmm. There's food at the top. They want to focus on the bottom. Uh-oh. I'm nice. When you pal fish up on top of each other like this, they fight. And see, when you the colonizer, because I had to realize when you start getting fish tanks, you become the colonizer. And now you pile all these fish on top of each other. And the only thing they have to do is fight for what you put in there. The bottom feeders got to eat too, right? Bottom feeders got to eat too, right? Stop playing with me, man. That's what makes me the best of what I do. They say the girls is so good, but they brains is not ready. I don't know. I've ever talked to a woman because her mind is more steady. So here we go. They say the girls look so good. Stop playing with me. I'm nice. I mean, nice. I could take y'all through my house. Just look at my dogs and my animals and do a crazy live. And don't have to talk about none of this shit. You know why? Because I'm nice. I mean, that nice. That he's on trial, accused. What's your reaction when you see that he's on trial, accused, and that his lyrics can now be used against him in this trial? That's horrible. It's a travesty. Uh, I've been rapping professionally for 30 years. I've lied in almost 95% of my songs. <laughs> I'm being honest. Lie, lie, lie. Like, just what do you just mean? go. Uh, I, I write like I feel that day. Mm -hmm. I'm just being creative. 
you know, you, you could probably put, you couldn't build the jail high enough for the lyrics I've said on songs, which are all untrue. What I am is a family man, a person who gives back to my community all the time, open businesses in my community. So the music would never amount to the actual person, Joseph Cartagena. Mm -hmm. So what's, what's even more horrible is that the district attorneys, they know those lyrics ain't real. They know that's creativity, but if it helps their case, they'll use it to put these guys in jail. And here we're having a fun show about it and discussion, but there really is six defendants in Atlanta who might spend the rest of their life in jail for something that's uh, totally not true. Yeah, you're saying this is not a laughing matter. This is very serious. Let me stop that right there. And um, I got to be 110% real with y'all. I know what it's like to be in the penitentiary. No disrespect to the families of the deceased. I don't want to see young thug, the young thug go to jail. Because I realized that he was caught up in a rapture. But I have to be real as a leader of the village, as somebody that's part of the community. And also me calling myself a real nigga. Young Thug. Whole life played in front of us. With these niggas beefing on the internet. Niggas is beefing on the internet. Where on one side a nigga mama got murdered. We watched Young Thug baby mama get hit up. Multiple people died on both sides. And we know this to be true. The courts know this to be true. We can't pretend with the courts. The FBI knows this to be true. The community knows this to be true. The village knows this to be true. So now, at what point in what time do we, as the village, the community say, enough of this shit is enough. Fat Joe. I appreciate the fact that you're saying. That 99.9% .9 of your rhymes is fake. We know that because you don't write your rhymes. But at the same time. This bragging about killings on the internet and trying to save niggas that was stupid enough to volunteer to be taken down by the district attorney, it gets to the point to where that as men, sometimes we have to take a step back. Hassan Campbell went out to Bronx River, drunk as shit. That was the only time in my life the only time in my life that I was lacking. I don't even understand who the fuck was out there on camera. But everybody keeps saying the same thing. Nigga, we know you. If you would have had something on you to protect yourself, everybody would have, you would have went to jail on camera because the feds wouldn't have stopped that footage. They watched me get shot. There was a 911 call. I just listened to audio breaking down how the CIA started the first generation of hip hop back to Africa Bambada. Now, here's something I'm going to say, and I'm going to be real with you. I don't know if I can believe that. But I know there's some truth to that. Because the one thing I would say about Africa Bambada, outside of him being a predator, at the Zulu anniversaries, he refused to play rap music. That nigga was playing that techno bull crap. He refused. I'm the one thing I'm one thing I'm never gonna do. Cause the nigga still raised me, regardless of what people feel about it. I don't know that to be true. 
Because that man did not play hip hop. He played that P funk. Hey, party people, can y'all get funky? If you ever went to a Zulu anniversary, you hated that shit because they didn't play the up to date rap music. He stayed away from that shit for whatever reasons. But at the same time, in some cases, he might not have liked where hip hop was going, but he liked. The little boys. Look at all the boys with the Daisy Duke song. He liked the little boys. Fat Joe. You took a stand with a with, with a monster, with a predator. And you know he a predator. Because you a predator. Allegedly. According to your ghostwriter, T.A. But I'm not even going into that. We can't sit up there and act like we didn't see the news clippings with all these murders. And they don't match up to the rhymes. We can't sit up there and act like we didn't listen to all of the lyrics that matched up to the bodies that dropped. That's insanity. And I'm going to say this, and I don't care who don't like it. Because I'm not trying to be a real nigga. I'm a civilian. I'm a father first. If my mother had to listen to Young Thug, I love Young Thug without the dress, without the lipstick, without the makeup. We already know he went through the door. He got his asshole tucked in. Hit him in the ass with the, yeah, he got his asshole tucked in. Whether y'all like it or not, with him claiming sex, money, murder, Pete would have slapped the shit out of him. Pete wouldn't have, Pete wouldn't have, Pistol Pete wouldn't have, and I'm not talking about Terror Squad, Pistol Pete. That's not the real Pistol Pete. That's another Pistol Pete that got busy as well. There was two of them. But the Pete that everybody be talking about is the one that's locked up. Pete wouldn't have accept that. Under no circumstances. Shout out to the other Pete. Pete got busy too. But everybody, when niggas is talking about Pistol Pete, they're not talking about Spanish Pete. We all know that. Pistol is not having nobody running around throwing up sex, money, murder, screaming out trendy with a dress on or earrings in their nose. Pete wouldn't play that. I know him. I was in the battlefields with him as enemies and as friends. Y'all niggas is so lost that y'all accepted anything. Anything? Anything. At some point in time, everybody that's out there that's a real nigga, that's a street nigga, you in jail, your mother out here, your uncle out here that was the mailman, good man, your daughter's out here that's not into the streets, your sons that's out here they backpack kids. They don't want no problems. When a community is not protecting these kids and your elders, the only thing left to protect them is the police. What you want me to say that again? When you in jail and you can't protect the family no more and your friends don't give a goddamn enough to look out for the elders, the uncles, the backpack kids, the, the little girls that jump jump rope, the ones that's touched and they sleep at nighttime, and you in jail, and your mother don't want to tell you about it, your baby mother don't want to tell you about it because they know you will lose your mind and stab everybody in the penitentiary, but while you in jail, hurt people hurting people, and we are children of the plantation. We come from... Days of buck breaking. And you got people in the community that's buck breaking your community. The only thing left to save them is the police outside of God. And then you got niggas like Fat Joe. 
trying to act like he really for the streets. When some of these niggas, and I don't care what anybody say, half these rappers that y'all listening to, they're told on somebody and they paying niggas in jail to keep their mouth quiet. I got paperwork on one of these dangerous Puerto Ricans, but I'm not going to even put it out. I won't even waste my time on one of these dangerous Puerto Ricans. Yeah, I got that paperwork. You told, homie. And I ain't talking about Fat Joe, even though they say he told too. I ain't talking about Joe. I'm talking about the killer. That'll be our little secret. I, I promise you I won't put it out because your whole crew will be finished after that. Niggas been telling from back in the days. Those days, yeah, yeah, the paperwork. Y'all got to decide whether y'all going to protect the community or y'all going to watch it die. We are the last of the slave ship. We are the last of the Mohegans. We are the last of the conquered being conquered by the colonizer. We all we got. CMB. CMB. We all we got. And my, my brother's keeper. Yes, I am. And if you, if you don't understand the lingo of what I'm saying, then you shouldn't even be watching me. Some get a little, and some get none. Some catch a bad one, and some leave the job half done. I was one who never had and always mad, never knew my dad, motherfuck the... The hood ain't nothing but a concrete jungle. And you niggas is in prison and don't even realize it. When we go to the club, we used to have these bottles, right? And on this bottle, they'd be, they be regular Moab bottles. On them bottles right there, they'd be to have something to make the girls be real, real slippery and all of this kind of stuff. So when you get up, they be like, don't touch them bottles right there and only drink them bottles right there. Put Molly all in that shit. Put Molly all in that shit. And she ain't even know it. 50 Cent is diabolical. This nigga sat up there and told y'all. That he sat back. And watch them put pills and potions. And she ain't even know it. This nigga just told y'all. That he watched. And the whole entourage watched. Puff allegedly put pills and potions and bottles, and he didn't even know it, and bottles. If I take one more drink, I'm going to end up with you, shorty. When we go to the club, we used to have these bottles, right? And on this bottle, they'd be, they'd be regular Moab bottles. On them bottles right there, they'd be to have something to make the girls be real, real slippery and all of this kind of stuff. So when you get up, they'd be like, don't touch them bottles right there and only drink them bottles right there. Put Molly up. Put Molly up. 
Put Molly all up in that set, and she ain't even know it. So you telling me that Mark Curry and the rest of these niggas, they watch Puff. They rip. They rip. You watch this nigga. And I'm not going to lie. I didn't believe Puff was capable of doing that. Because Puff was an original bad boy, like New York swag. I thought Puff had all the he I thought Puff had all the bitches. So now you niggas is coming forward and saying Puff was just as bad as Africa Bambada. So you telling me that video that Mr. Smart, shout out to Mr. Smart from Harlem, where he said dudes was going for interviews and going to take drinks with these rappers and they passed out because there was something in the bottom and then they woke up to videotapes with their back being blown out. These rappers had their ass looking like the ocean, a black hole, and that was real? Y'all thought it was fake? I didn't know if I could even believe it. So the whole time y'all put y'all faith in this music industry and you had niggas like Rick Ross writing rhymes about putting pills in her drinks and she ain't even know it. And y'all niggas is standing by this nigga. He put pills in her drink and made a rap about how she didn't know it. If Fat Joe sitting his fat ass up there because niggas wrote, yo, they rapped about some diabolical shit. And now we all know we seen Rick Ross's face, his, yo, we seen Rick Ross' first baby mother, Tia. She whack as shit. And we know that Rick Ross would never be with a bad chick as nasty as he look. Without putting pills and potions in a female drink. Now, I'm not looking for nobody to be on my side. Because when you got a nigga sitting up there rapping about putting pills and potions in a chick drink. And she ain't even know it. And now you got Fat Joe sitting up there talking about no district attorney. We lying. Now, y'all niggas wasn't lying. This is what y'all was doing. The whole industry. And when y'all put pills and potions in these female drinks and they can't tap out and say no, they were so incompetent. In, 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 yo, they were so. It, 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 I can't even get the word out. Incapacitated that they couldn't say no. And no means no. No means no. They couldn't say no. They was watching you. Watching them while you violated them and couldn't say nothing. And the crazy part about it is some of y'all people say, yo, why they waited so long to come out and tell the truth? You know why? Picture your wife, your girlfriend telling you this is the love of your life. That she went to hang out with some celebrities with her girlfriends, right? Are y'all listening? I'm talking to you in the comment section. Are you listening? Yes or no? Or are you talking to each other? If you listening, write yes in the comment section. Are you listening? Picture your girl. Going out with her girlfriend. To hang out with our favorite rappers. Y'all see these niggas on Instagram? They groupies. For their favorite rapper. Some of these men. I done helped certain rappers. Before they met certain rappers. And they won't even like my posts. 
Y'all know who these niggas is. Y'all been around long enough to see some of these niggas following some of these rappers, but won't support me. And knowing that these rappers is foul. So now, these girls is hanging out because the niggas is groupies too. These females is hanging out with their girlfriends with these rappers. And they chilling at the bar. At the party. And they get to the party. And before they get to the party, there's bottles. Bottles lined up. Bottles lined up. If I take one more drink, I'm going to end up with you, shorty. Shorty like, I'm going to have me a drink or two. But he ain't getting no... Shorty don't know. Hold up. Hold up. Am I, I'm about to cook. Am I cooking? What? Wait, wait. Hold up. So meanwhile, while Shorty sitting over there talking about, ain't none of these niggas getting no ass. I got to go home to my man. Go to the, when we go to the club, we used to have these bottles, right? And on this bottle, they'd be, they be regular Moet bottles. On them bottles right there, they'd be going to have something to make the girls be real, real slippery and all of this kind of stuff. So, so what? When you get up, they'd be like, don't touch them bottles right there and don't. Don't touch them bottles right there. So now Shorty drinking. And she get he told you she was getting all wet. No. She wasn't getting wet. She was getting like Charlemagne the God. I forget if it's Tamika Reed or Jessica Reed. What is the name of the girl in Charlemagne the God case of the rape case? According to Essence, Charlemagne, real name is Leonard Larry McKelvey, was accused of rape in 2001 by Jessica Reed, who was 15 at the time. I did her story. Beautiful sister. Charlemagne the God sick the post. Yo, he sicked his lawyers on me. They almost took my page. She went to the party. Are y'all listening to me? She went to the party. Charlemagne went to pick her up at her mother's house with her best friend. He was older than that little girl. He was older than that little girl. He promised her mother that he was her big brother and that he was going to bring her home safe. Charlemagne took her to the party. And when Charlemagne took her to the party, this shit right here gets me in trouble. Hit the like button to show, show support. Hit the like button to show YouTube that y'all agree with what I'm saying. Charlemagne took her to the party. And when he took her to the party, according to Jessica Reed, I don't even care about the views on this right here. You know what? The hell is her name again? Tasha K interviews Jessica Rhea about Charlemagne the God. And let me say this. Let me say this because I, I don't have a, a vendetta against Charlemagne. We've never done business. He's never been uh, disrespectful or anything towards me. He's he's always provided a very neutral uh, perspective to the things that have always been going on with me or rep stories that he's reported. So I don't, I, me personally, I don't know him. However, you're not lying about this. Hey, I'm Murder Beats, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. I got this girl real drunk. And um, 
I fought. We Just fought. that sentence sounds a little like fishy. I, I got her drunk. And I, 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 I didn't just get her drunk. I remember going. I, I went to the sex store and got Spanish fly. Oh, so you raped her? Shut up. <laughs> Spanish fly. <laughs> you, they sell it in the sex store. You, I, I'm telling the truth. They, they spell it in the sex store. I had to fucking. I had to fucking spare. There's some I mean, knives in the sex store, too. You could put that to a girl's throat yeah, and have sex with it. doesn't mean it's so, illegal. So I put the Spanish fly in the E&J. We drinking the E&J and shit. So in my mind, I don't know if this shit really worked, but I feel like I got horny as a motherfucker, too. <laughs> right? right? So, she so, so she was drunk and shit, and we had sex and shit, and, like, a lot of my boys was trying to come in the room and fuck out. I'm like, nah, she's like, I can't, we're not doing that. I'm like, you're in the train. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> right. So, this is one on one. It ain't right. Yeah. So, the next, <laughs> Trains are right. so the next morning, she wakes up. The next morning, she wakes up and um, we talk about it. And she's like, what happened? Like, we had sex. She said, okay, well, I'm glad it was you. Then a couple days later, She's like, yo, are you sure we had sex with you? <laughs> and one of my stupid ass cousins was going around saying he fucked her, which he didn't. I, okay. I know for a fact he didn't. Okay. I was there the whole time. Yeah, yeah. He did not fuck her. Yeah. He looked at her naked, but he didn't fuck her, <laughs> right? So, 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 I'm telling her, no, me and you just had sex. Nobody else did nothing. So it just was weird that she was like, oh, I'm just glad it was you. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. in my mind, I'm like, yeah, you could have been in a real bad situation if it was another That's a motherfucker. That's compliment, man. A girl just said, yo. <laughs> At least you raped me. I didn't rape her. <laughs> no, I did not rape her. I did not rape her. Hey, if it was any of your cousins or friends who have been raped, please. I didn't rape her because me and her had every intention of having sex with each other. So then why would you put the Spanish fly? I was a freaky I'm still a freaky motherfucker, but I was a really I was I listen, my was she pass out while you fucked her? Me and Malika were alone for a while until the EMS got there. Like we were by ourselves. It was just dark. And then I just remember sitting on the curb just crying. Go get help from who? From who? You motherfuckers are sitting in the comment section talking about go get help. You are the help. Fuck is you talking about? Who am I going to ask for help? George Bush? Pataki? Giuliani? Who am I asking for help? You the help, but y'all think this shit is funny. Right. Y'all think this shit is funny and wonder why a nigga eyes look like this because that girl, it ain't just about me. Y'all still listening to Charlemagne the God on the radio. Y'all still playing this nigga on the radio. You still listening to him on the radio when y'all heard him make fun of what he did to her. And the only way y'all willing to listen is when the elite decide to make a... Yo... 
what P. Diddy is going through is nothing but a humiliation ritual. This shit is a humiliation ritual. Where they breaking down the most strongest black men in the black community and letting you know that they homosexual, that they take that, take that, take that, so that your strongest soldiers would never have a Matula Shakur, a Geronimo Pratt. We don't have nothing to look up to but homosexuality. We don't have nothing to look up to but genocide, fake rappers. That woman cried her cry. He made fun of her. Cassie volunteered to be a part of his sex capade. Jessica Reed did not participate. Where's the justice for her? These niggas is making rap songs. Bragging about what they did to black woman. And she ain't even know it. And y'all won't even hit the like button. To bring awareness. To the pain that we've been through. Being buck broken. On the pit on the plantation. And now we on a new plantation. With a new slave masters. Is the rappers. And y'all won't even hit the like button. Y'all just watching and laughing. Like savages. And y'all talking about me being on Vlad? I don't give a fuck who platform I gotta go on to bring awareness to the shit that goes on to black women and black children all across America. You got a thousand children missing in whole Ohio. And you niggas is sitting up there talking about the, the rap industry. Y'all don't even care about y'all missing children. Because you ain't missing your children. The fuck I got to put that in subtitles or something. Y'all don't even care about y'all missing children. Because y'all don't miss y'all children. Mama? Mama? She probably sleeping. I can give my babies hugs and kisses. It's 10 o'clock. The fuck is your children? All right. You in between cribs. You ain't really getting wrong with shorty like that. And you ain't visiting your, 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 your kids because your baby mother don't want you because she real like you ain't shit. So this is why women like this can go through what they go through. And <laughs> baby, where you at? Where you at? Dude, you can put that. And let me say this. Let me say this because I, I don't have a, a vendetta against Charlemagne. We've never done business. He's never been... Uh, disrespect for anything towards me. He's he's always provided a very neutral uh, perspective to the things that have always been going on with me or rep stories that he's reported. So I don't, I, me personally, I don't know him. However, you're not lying about this. Hey, I'm Murder Beach, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. I got this girl real drunk and, um, I fought, we Just fought. that sentence sounds like well, this. I, I'm I not, got her drunk. And I, 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 I didn't just get her drunk. I remember going, I, I went to the sex store and got Spanish fly. Oh, so you raped her? Shut up. <laughs> Spanish fly. <laughs> they sell it in the sex store. You, I, I'm telling the truth. They, they spell it in the Spanish store. I had to fucking, I had to fucking spell it. They sell I mean, they knives in the sex store, store too. You can put that to a girl's throat. Yeah, that's sex store. Store. It so, illegal. So I put the Spanish fly in the E&J. We drinking the E&J and shit. So in my mind, I don't know if this shit really worked, but I felt like I got horny as a motherfucker too. <laughs> So, so, so she was drunk as shit and we had sex and shit and like a lot of my boys was trying to come in the room and fuck out. I'm like, nah, she's like, I can't, we're not doing that. And I'm like, you're in the tree. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> right? 
So it's so, just one on one, it ain't right. Yeah, so the next morning, are right. So the next morning she wakes up. The next morning she wakes up and um we talk about it. And she's like, What happened? Like we had sex. She said, Okay, well, I'm glad it was you. Then a couple days later, she's like, Yo, are you sure when we had sex with you? <laughs> and one of my stupid ass cousins was going around saying he fucked it, which he didn't. I, okay. I know fuck he didn't. I, okay. I know fuck. So let's di- let, let, let's dissect that. So he pulled the blanket off of her and showed a room full of niggas that she was naked. And when she finally woke up conscious, she said, I'm glad that there was you that violated me and showed everybody her sex box. She told him that she glad that he, this is what he, this is his story. Why the feds ain't picked this case up yet? Why the, why the black community? Why do we have to wait for the government? The machine to charge these people. I'm not telling y'all to go out there and crucify nobody. Why is he still on the radio? Why are we still making him rich? When y'all hear exactly what he did and you know just listening to her story and his story without even going to trial, it's pure evil and he's guilty. Go to the, when we go to the club, we used to have these bottles, right? And on this bottle, they'd be, they'd be regular Moet bottles. On them bottles right there, they'd be to have something to make the girls be real, real slippery and all of this kind of stuff. So when you get up, they'd be like, don't touch them bottles right there and only drink them bottles right there. Put Molly all in, the- Put Molly all in her drink and she ain't even know it. That's what Rick Ross said. And she ain't even know it. And this is what Charlemagne said. Rick Ross bragged about raping the chick in the song. I ain't looking to be nobody's friend in this industry. I hate rapists. That's why 50 Cent threw that shit out there. And Rick Ross told, you know what Rick Ross told 50 Cent? Your bitch is dream chaser. You know why? Because they put Molly's all in her drink and she ain't even, yo. That's why 50 Cent dumped her that took her back. After I made my video, I was like, listen, every girl been through something. 50 took Shorty back. I know he watched my video. I don't give a fuck what y'all say. This is the industry. This is what the most powerful black men are doing up under the colonizers umbrella. And let me say this. Let me say this because I I don't have a a vendetta against Charlemagne. We've never done business. He's never been uh, disrespectful or anything towards me. He's he's always provided a very neutral uh, perspective to the things that have always been going on with me or stories that he's reported. So I don't, me personally, I don't know him. However, you're not lying about this. Ariel Murder Beach, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. I got this girl real drunk. And, um, I fought, we just fought. that sentence sounds like no, this. I, I'm I not, got her drunk. And I, 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 I didn't just get her drunk. I remember going, I, I went to the sex store and got Spanish fly. Oh, so you raped her? Shut up. <laughs> Spanish fly. You, they sell it in the sex store. You, I, I'm telling the truth. They, they spell it in the Spanish store. I had the fucking, I had the fucking store. They sell I mean, knives in the sex store, store too. You could put that to a girl's throat yeah, and have sex with it. What's your reaction? He's on trial, accused, and that his lyrics can now be used against him in this trial. That's horrible. It's a travesty. 
Uh, I've been rapping professionally for 30 years. I've lied in almost 95% of my songs. <laughs> I'm being out. Lied. Lied. Like, just what do you just mean? go. Uh, I, I write like I feel that day. Mm -hmm. I'm just being creative. You know, you, you could probably put, you couldn't build the jail high enough for the lyrics I've said on songs, which. Shut up. Okay, it's so, illegal. So I put the Spanish fly in the ENJ. We drinking the ENJ and shit. So in my mind, I don't know if this shit really worked, but I feel like I got horny as a motherfucker too. <laughs> right? right? So, so, so she was drunk and shit, and we had sex and shit, and like a lot of my boys was trying to come in the room and fuck her. I'm like, nah, she like, I can't. We're not doing that. And I'm like, you're in the train. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So, right? so it's so, just one on one. It ain't right. Yeah. So. so Who's trying to have sex with a girl with a lot of a lot of their friends? That's how Tupac case became consensual sex into rape. Who's trying to have sex with a woman with a bunch of their friends standing at the door waiting for her to get butt ass naked? Huh, Charlemagne? Oh, I'm telling her, no, me and you just had sex. Nobody else did nothing. So it just was weird that she was like, oh, I'm just glad it was you. You know what I'm saying? Because in my mind, I'm like, yeah, you could have been in a real bad situation if it was another That's a motherfucker. That's a compliment, that. man. A girl just sex going, got Spanish fly. Oh, so you raped her. Oh, so you raped her. This is what his co-host said to him. Because that was the only logic of what he was saying. While he sat up there and had a thousand niggas staring at her while she was naked, throwing up, throwing up from the pills that was poisoned her. If y'all want me to keep on going, hit the like button. If we're not going to get this shit up to 4,000, I got three hours and 22 minutes in. I'll, I'll end this live where it's at. I did my job. Now I'm going to sit here and wait to see what y'all going to do. Because if y'all not going to support my channel and I'm not getting paid because of the things that's being said, then I can log out and y'all can go to fuck the bed and go watch them corny ass niggas. I refuse to keep on talking. If it's 4,000 people in the building, show me by hitting that like button. I'm out. Log out. I'm not saying another word. I'm not getting paid for this. I got a couple of dollars in the super chat, but that's not enough. Not for me jeopardizing my platform. Not for black people. Saying people that left me for dead and still watching my enemies. No. Oh, yeah, too busy. All right, let me play some music. I'm not even talking no more till y'all hit the like button. Y'all got me messed up. And after I get tired of listening to music, I'm going to shut this shit down. Hold up, where did that song go? All right, I'm going to have to go. Play it a different way. It's not going like, yeah. You run the city now, nigga. Y'all still waiting? You on that real New York time, you heard? Smalley, what up? I got some Brillo with Brillo with us. vibe, nigga. All right, you trendsetters. I'm running on my wrist, watch me chase the game. You told on your homies, love ain't the same. I see my mama struggle, had to make a way. I told her mama, move over, I'ma pave the way. I'm running on my wrist, watch me chase the game. You told on your homies, love ain't the same. I see my mama struggle, I'ma make a way. I told her mommy, move over, I'ma pave the way. Shoot me, shoot me.
swimming with the fishes. Yellow diamonds should be looking like I'm pissing. Still bang on a nigga Blake Griffin. Fuck a shot left, we get a nigga lifted. Uh, all this money in the wall like Yowder. If you the MMT, you know a nigga got his cloud up. We gon' get it, have a count at every hour. Move the white like Tommy Wink goes, they got the power. I've been that nigga since 9 6. Only run with trappers, killers, and convicts. See my man kill with a smile, been calm six. Shots at the V, we making a car flip. Uh, we lost Grizzly, and we ain't tryin' to lose again. Head tap him, if he move, nigga shoot again. Wall time, we got no picks, nigga shoot his friend. Ain't no doubling back, we can't get cool again. A uh, hundred on my wrist, watch me change the game. You told on your homies, love ain't the same. I see my mama struggle, had to make a way. I told her mama move over, I'ma pave the way. A uh, hundred on my wrist, watch me change the game. You told on your homies, love ain't the same. I see my mama struggle, I'ma make a way. I told her mommy move over, I'ma pave the way. Time, but I see clear. Gotta thank the men above, cause I know without him I wouldn't be here. But Let's just be clear, I really set the bar high and kept my wheels going through the storm like a car shot. They ain't with you till you pull up in that hard top and make it disappear from a button, watch they heart drop. My bar's hot, but my delivery immaculate. Being with a scope, so when it fire is accurate. I spat my neck on froze, look like I fractured it. It's the type of shit you gon' have to go save your taxes with. Real niggas still around, let's get back to it. Separate these Instagram niggas from who is actually lit. Before rap, I was trafficking OT, getting pounds breaking. Down the fractions of OZs right. I had to wait my turn to watch the game from the nosebleeds I'm from the Bronx where niggas go to war with their cold D's Right, so I'm sorry if I don't trust you nigga Before I take from a man, I'd rather hustle nigga I executed my plan and got destructive with it Real nigga, Hall of Fame, I better get inducted in it I can't respect you, you don't check on your kids Running around with some niggas, got you ready to bid You don't get respect unless I see respect what you give But what for this sig, to separate his neck and his wig Right, I'm running on my wrist, watch me change the game You told on your homies, love ain't the same I see my mama struggle, had to make a way I told her mama move over, I'ma pave the way I'm running on my wrist, watch me change the game You told on your homies, love ain't the same I see my mama struggle, I'ma make a way I told her mommy move over, I'ma pave the way Weight pit, deadlift, cameras at my door Time for a safe trip Nobody shots leaving his head split Shotty up close, blast your legs flip Brillo, R.I.U. My gun kick like it no kung fu Get home till you turn blue When you in that cell going through hell It's only you Niggas leave, money go, bitches too Red laser on your shirt, no missing you Automatics, binary, switches too Chanel or Celine, shotgun, red, yellow shells in the machine Gotta cut them out his jeans what? Back to the basics, sweatpants and Asics Staying through this Hollison window, it's all patience Rap niggas be wired up, y'all all agents Find your body or something, board it up, fake it I'm running on my wrist, watch me change the game You told on your homies, love ain't the same See my mama struggle, had to make a way. I told her mama move over, I'ma pave the way. A hundred on my wrist, watch me change the game. You told on your homies, love ain't the same. I see my mama struggle, I'ma make a way. I told her mommy move over, I'ma pave the way. Y'all don't get them likes up at least. If y'all don't get them likes up to 3,000, at least 3,500, I'm out. Because I know it's more in the building. And I refuse to, take, to talk to a dead audience for what? I could do pre recordings. For what? Y'all still ain't hitting the like button? Anthony Griff, shout out to you. Your mother wildin'. She gave birth to a weak nigga. 
Instead of you supporting the cause, you sitting up there talking stupid shit. You wilding. Your mother wilding. Because you can't imagine being this great. Y'all sit back and y'all watching a black woman cry. And a black man making fun of what she went through. And y'all won't even hit the like button to support the movement. What are we talking about? The nigga talking about Spanish fly. He gave her pills and potions for the people, for the punani. I ain't never in my life. Gave a female some shit that knocked her out where she couldn't consent. See, you know, Floor Tree, all you gotta do is say yes. She couldn't even say yes. Shut up. <laughs> they spell it in the sand store. I'm telling the truth. They, they spell it in the sand store. I had to fucking, I had to fucking spell it. They sell I mean, knives in the, the sex store too. You could put that to a girl's throat. Yeah, that's sex store. That doesn't mean it's so, illegal. So I put the Spanish fly in the E&J. We drinking the E&J and shit. So in my mind, I don't know if this shit really worked, but I felt like I got horny as a motherfucker too. <laughs> right? right? So, so, so she was drunk and shit and we had sex and shit and like a lot of my boys was trying to come in the room and fuck out. I'm like, nah. She wasn't drunk and shit. The medicine made her so sick that them niggas had sex with a woman that was throwing up all, all they was throwing up all over themselves. They was humping on a woman that had vomit all over their breast. Yeah. They was throwing up like the exorcist. I'm like, nah, she's like, I can't, I'm not doing that. I'm not gonna turn the train on. That's right. Yeah. Okay, so, right? so it's so, just one on one, it ain't right. Yeah, so the next <laughs> morning, are right. So the next morning she wakes up. I can't, I'm not doing that. The nigga said, if it's one on one, it ain't right. A train is a right. But he invited a whole room of niggas to watch that naked girl. And he's laughing about it on the radio that the tax paper, yo, tax people are paying for this. Doing that, I'm not gonna turn the train on. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> right. So, this so, is one on one. It ain't right. Yeah. So the next trains are right. So the next morning she wakes up. The next morning she wakes up, and um, we talk about it. And she's like, "What happened?" I'm like, oh yeah. Next morning she wakes up, and um, we talk about it. What's there to talk about? She enjoyed it, right? Damn, we went back. Flying the ENJ, we drinking the ENJ. <laughs> right? So, so, so she was drunk and shit, and we had sex and shit, and like a lot of my boys was trying to come in the room and fuck out. I'm like, nah, she's like, I can't, I'm not doing that. I'm not gonna turn the train on. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So, right? so, so this is one on one, it ain't right. Yeah. So the next trains are right. So the next morning she wakes up. The next morning she wakes up. And um, we talk about it. And she's like, what happened? Like, we had sex. She said, okay, well, I'm glad it was you. Then a couple days later, she's like, yo, are you sure we had sex with you? <laughs> One of my stupid ass cousins. So a couple of days later, she asked you if she was sure, or rather, if you were sure, are y'all listening? Are y'all listening to what I'm listening to? And y'all gotta understand something that the machine didn't decide to flip on Charlemagne. So they're not gonna let this go viral. That's why I'm telling you that's hitting the like button, hit the goddamn like button. They ain't gonna make this go viral. They still protecting this nigga. When they destroy these black celebrities, it's a humiliation ritual. He's not part of that ritual. Now look at how the numbers is fading out.
New Hills. Thank you, family. I know for a fact he did. Y'all okay. said all the time. Yeah, yeah. He did not fuck her. Yeah. He looked at her naked, but he didn't fuck her, right? <laughs> so, 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 I'm telling her, no, me and you just had sex. Nobody else did nothing. So it just was weird that she was like, oh, I'm just glad it was you. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. in my mind, I'm like, yeah, you could have been in a real bad situation if it was another That's a motherfucker. That's a huge compliment, man. A girl just said, yo... At least you raped me. I didn't rape her. <laughs> I did not rape her. I did not rape her. Hey, if it was any of your cousins or friends who have been raped, please. I didn't rape her because me and her had every intention of having sex with each other. So then why would you put the Spanish fly? I was a freaky I'm still a freaky motherfucker, but I was a really, I was, I, listen, my Man, whole- Man, she passed out while you fucked her? Me and Malika were alone for a while until the EMS got there. Like, we were by ourselves. It was just dark. And then I just remember sitting on the curb, just crying. And I said, Malika, I love you. And she said, I love you too. And, um. Really, I was, I, listen, my Wait, whole. When she passed out while you fucked her? Me and Malika were alone for a while until the EMS got there. Like, we were by ourselves. It was just dark. And then. I just remember sitting on the curb, just crying. <laughs> Fuck a door, this is real life. Black woman cry, where's the black man at? I remember sitting on the curb just crying. Where's the black man and, at? Um, I was holding on to Malika and I said, Malika, I love you. And she said, I love you too. Where's the black man and, at? Um, Where's the black man at? Not the black woman. Where's the black man at? When a black woman cries, a black man is supposed to wipe her eyes. Where's the black man at? Right. Y'all still watching these rappers. You go do something. You go do something. Sarah Smith, you go do something. You go do something. You know what you sound like, Sarah Smith? You sound like what them, what are them, I'm going back to yonder. You sound like a country bunker. You go do something. You go do something. Hobo. I kill this nigga's dead. Nigga, you sound like the shit up underneath our shoe. Nobody, we don't even respect y'all. You go do something. You go do something? That's what you said? That's what you spell. Nigga, you understand that. Sometimes I can't see, but the light is dim. So I can see. And I read what you had to say. And you said, you go do something. You go do something. <laughs> you, you know what you sound like? Monkey. You sound like a monkey. You do the sun. You go do sun. Shut up. Shut your ass up. And yeah, we know I'm the originator of shut up. That other nigga said, shut up, shut up, shut No, I originated this shit. Shut your ass up.
Log off. Tell your mother to log off. Stupid bitch. You telling me to log off. What the fuck is you still here for? Tell your mother to log off. Nah, tell her to log <laughs> Tell your mother to log on. <laughs> BMB, hold it down. All these former bad boy employees, bodyguards, artists, whoever, that are now capitalizing off of the situation that Diddy finds himself in and doing interviews and all that about specific events and specific crimes they witness him commit is corny. All of them is corny and all of them need to be added to any indictment that they drop on Diddy. Because if you sat by and watched him commit crimes against women, you are whack. Bottom line. Y'all just like them dudes from Zulu Nation who sat back and watch Bambada commit crimes against children. Ain't no excuse for that. And, 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 and y'all gotta stop championing these dudes and, and, and sharing these videos because it's whack with me. If you was there and you seen it go down, you should have said something or did something then. Not now, 20 years later, when stuff is coming out. Then. It was your duty to protect those women then. Just like it was Zulu Nation's duty to protect those children then. Bottom line. <laughs> that was the worst thing I ever told anybody. Uh -huh. And I was like, man, jeez, oh. And I've never seen him like that. So it was like, in some type of way, I felt fucked up because it was like, no, you didn't. <sighs> It was like, I, I had to tell him the worst shit ever. So I felt some type of way, like it wasn't that I was responsible, but the fact that I told him that shit, that's the worst shit ever. So we was there for a while, I leave the hospital. I'm like, all right, I gotta leave. I go to the crib and I'm just fucked up. Cause I'm like, I had to tell him that shit. And uh, the next day I called Gene, I'm like, damn. In the morning, I'm like, what's up with him, man? Is he all right? He going through it. So I said, I gotta, at that moment, I was like, whatever I do, I got to be able to put my emotions and my feelings on hold in order to take care of cuz. And I had to be like, and it was strange. So I said, damn, I got to make sure cuz get out the house. I went to the crib. I got him. I'm like, yo, come on. We got to bounce. We got to, two was like, I said, come on. We got to get out of here because there was so much going on in his mind. I'm like, we got to get up out of here. I got him out the crib. I got him to the studio. And I just was calling people like, yo, all the brothers I knew, I was like, Cause it was too much for me to go through. And I'm like, I can't really do this shit by myself. Cause I'm like, I can't really feel right now. Cause I can't be selfish on the aspect of, I can't even, I can't even really truly mourn about cheese. Cause I got to make sure Gil all right. Cause I told him the worst shit ever. And then I'm processing like, damn, I'm just trying to get as many homies over here as possible to the studio. Like, come over, come over, come over, come over, come over, come over. I called a thousand boys, man. Dude showed up. And I did a day after day, day after day. Try to make a better situation, but I was like, cheese wasn't coming back. And it was like, <sighs> I had to stay away from it. It was hard for me to face cousins for a while, so I would keep my distance. It'd be like, it's fucked up. Cuz, <sighs> no, I appreciate you for that too, cuz. It was like, I'm trying to help him, but I can't, I can't even, I can't even, I can't even just, it was like, I felt fucked up for telling him that shit, man. And it was like, the homies came through though and made, the family came through and just try to help him they helped him out so much he was laughing and shit I'm calling the 2D back and forth and I'm telling you he, he laughing he cool right now he is. 
but it's an in and out. It's going in and out. And that was the worst shit. I had to tell him, it's like, it's still days. He just, the car. Shut the hell up. Y'all niggas is disgusting. There was no love there. Y'all made a conscious decision. Yeah. Did Hollywood call you yet? I mean, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a part of that. At that Hollywood, you know what I'm saying? I, I got a Hollywood agency. You know what I'm saying? I'm, Let me I'm in that look. question, right? I can't say too much, but I'm going to say it. Has it ever been a time where it's dull? Have you ever got a visitor? A visitor? Like somebody come to your house? <laughs> oh, how can I explain <laughs> this? They started laughing at him. The devil was on my shoulders. If I ain't had strong people around me, man, I would resort it back to old Gilly, man. I don't like the whole fucking city out, man. So you telling me the strong people told you to accept the fact that your son got murdered? Right. <laughs> right. what they promote and after she's died You know what? I got so much more that I want to deal with. But we're going to do a part two to this live. With Melissa Ford. With Cameron. With Mace. Y'all come back in five minutes and see what these numbers was really like. Hit that like button. Hit that share button. Hit that subscribe button. This shit was mentally draining to me.